Hi, Morgan Freeman. Glad you could join us. These are extremely trying times. Thousands of people have lost their jobs virtually overnight. Tonight, we're raising money for the Actors Fund, supporting all professions in the entertainment industry, especially those behind the scenes. So tonight, care for each other. Have some fun. Time to start the show. Hi, this is Alexandra Billings. Hi, this is Ali Stroker. I'm Matt Doyle. This is Leslie Uggams. I'm Brandon Victor Dixon. This is Andrew from The Inheritance on Broadway. Christopher Jackson. And Veronica Jackson. Lauren Letero. I'm Anika Noni Rose. I'm Jessica Keenan Wynn. And this, 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 this is the Rosie, Rosie O'Donnell, O'Donnell show. show. I'm in pain now. Hi, I'm Eric Bergen from New York, New York, and this is The Rosie O'Donnell Show. Today's guests are literally everyone. Hit it, John! And now, here's Rosie. Well, hi, everybody. It's me, Rosie O'Donnell, from the comfort of my garage slash art studio. And I'm coming to you here on this Sunday night at 7 p.m. And I'm happy to say that I was uh, in rehearsal here, so I missed the press conference from the president. (laughs) Yay! There's not a lot I'd like to do. uh, You know, what would I like to do? I don't want to watch him. Let's just say that. And uh, this is a day where we don't even really have to talk about him. We can just talk about how everyone is getting through, how everyone is going to get through this together. And like a nation that we are, we're going to come through it. That's what we're going to do. And we brought the show back. It was all Eric's idea, our little opening announce guy from Madam Secretary. It was his idea to do this. He put it all together. There's 3,000 guests and we're going to try to move it right along. But first, I couldn't do the show or anything similar to my show without the amazing John McDee. How are you doing, John? Hi, honey. How are you? I'm so good. It's great to see you. This is Clarence, my Frenchie Rescue. I saw him on Instagram. He's adorable. He's my baby. Yes. Now, how are you? Are you good? I'm well, you know, I'm staying optimistic and keeping it together and not watching the news too much. Right. Uh, you know, just enough to know and then... Okay, Netflix and, and moving on. Yeah, what have you been Netflixing? What have you been watching? Oh my gosh, you know, on Hulu, uh, Little Fires Everywhere, this new show. Yes, I saw it, but it's only so, three episodes. It's, I know, but it's so good. We started it last night. When are the rest of the episodes coming out? I don't know. We have to find out. Because I watched all three. I'm like, I'm in for the whole night. Come I on. know. And that was it. Um, but it's a very good one. It's really good. Kerry Washington and Reese Witherspoon. Yeah. Exactly. And they're both producers, which is awesome. Yeah, awesome. Women yeah. taking control of Hollywood. We love it. Hey. hey, have you had a lot of uh, interaction with the Actors Fund? I know you've done fundraisers before. I know. I just did one in December. We did Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol with a 30-piece orchestra on stage. It was so much fun. So, and all the money goes to people in the show business uh, community all over the country. It's not just yeah. the actors. It's right. the musicians. Actors. Everybody. Right. It's the music composers, like you were saying, musicians, yeah. stagehands, everyone who works in the theater industry. And as yeah. you all know, everybody everyone, donates. Yes, exactly. Well, John, I'm happy to see you. You'll Thank be seeing you. I love you. Yeah, I have a little song for you. All right, go ahead. For we need a little Rosie right this very minute. Tommy Cruz and Cooch Balls. Come on, let's begin it. We need a lot of joyful Broadway friends this minute. Need a little rosy now. Well, thank you, John. I could not love you more. Stick around. We'll be coming back to you, okay? All right. Well, there we go. That was our first uh, guest, is little John McDaniel doing his stuff on the piano, as he always did for my show. Hey, we don't have cooch balls, but I have made my own little ones. There you go. How does it look on camera? I hit it. There you go. Okay, so up first is Jesse Tyler Ferguson, my friend and yours. And of course, you know Modern Family, and now from Extreme Makeover, right? Yes, yes. I just uh, I started that um, 
the same time we were shooting the last season of Modern Family, I was doing some double duty. Yeah, Modern Family, the last episode coming up. It's kind of, I think we have three more and then the last one. It, it's, it was, it's a, been a very emotional ride. For How sure. long was the run on that show? 11 years. Wow. 11 years. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly so grateful we got to film our finale before we all had to go inside and stay inside because uh, I think the fans are going to really be happy with, with the way we send it off. Yeah. I can't wait to see it. And I'm a big fan of Extreme Home Makeover. Yeah. I mean, it's a feel-good TV that I think we all need right now. I yeah. mean, it's, uh, I, I was a fan of the original run of the show. I never thought I would be the guy who gets to say, move that bus. Uh, and to have like a front seat to like the best of humanity is been such a, a gift. You cry every time that show's on. Oh, every single time. They and I cry again when I watch it at home. Right, when I watch it at home too, they they show the the people reacting and it's just like the most uplifting, beautiful thing. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. I'm so glad you're doing this. Well, thank you, honey. It was Eric's idea. He called me up one day and said, it won't be hard. We'll just, you know, get a few people and stick you in your garage. So, <laughs> Meanwhile, 300 people later. Yes, exactly. So listen, you started off as a Broadway boy. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Your show was? My first, my very first show was on the town, right? Uh, which I actually got to promote on the Rosie show with Lee Delaria. Yeah, um, I, I didn't get, that. I didn't get to sit on the couch. But, uh, she sang, uh, "I Can Cook Too," and I was, I was her prop. Uh, I, I'm a prop too, is what we called me, and I'm a prop too. Just throw <laughs> me around. Uh, but you can look it up on YouTube. We both look fabulous. So uh, yeah, as do you. Um, and uh, yeah, that was my Broadway debut. So I'm thrilled to actually get to sit down and talk to you on, your, on the Rosie show now. And how about the Actors Fund? Have you done a lot of stuff working with them? Do you know about what they do? Absolutely, tons of stuff. I mean, you know, when you're part of the Broadway community, uh, it's just, it, it's it's part of your DNA. Like you're always constantly doing things for uh, Broadway Cares Like Fights AIDS, for the Actors Fund. I mean, it's such a great community. The Broadway community always rallies around one another. Yeah, it really is. I mean, I always found show business a little bit disjointed in Hollywood, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone lives in a faraway place. They live in the valley or the Malibu. And, you, you know, there's not like that sense of community that you get in New York with the Broadway people. Absolutely. And even my TV friends who have come to do Broadway, they're so shocked by that sense of community when they get when they come to New York. And they miss it when they go back to LA. Well, guess who we got coming up next? A friend of yours. I'm going to bring him in so you can say hi to the very talented and gorgeous Mr. Titus Burgess. Hey, Titus. Hey, guys. Yay. Hey. How are you? Hi, Titus. I'm so good. I have missed your face on our screens, Rosie. Oh, honey. Well, I'm back here on one night only. One night only. Come on. One baby. night only. <laughs> exactly. Well, Jesse, great to see you. I'm going to chat a little. Good to see you, too. Thanks for doing this, sweetheart. Hey, Titus, how are you getting through this pandemic? You know, I'm doing my best to lead with love and be optimistic. And yes. I, I try not to go down those rabbit holes uh, watching every news channel that often puts out uh, information that isn't the same. And it gets right. really confusing, but, you know, we can all do our little part, which we're doing, just staying at home and washing our hands and be kind, be kind, be kind, be kind, be kind. And, and you were in New York, yes? I'm in New Jersey. I am in New Jersey too. I moved. I had to get out of there. Yeah, you got out of there. You got a nice it's place. More crowded. Some grass. Right, some grass. Yeah, right. some grass and trees. Right. And um, Kimmy Schmidt, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> there's, what a, there's a movie. Uh, or, or, uh, um, coming out of May day, I assume. Actually, uh, you know, who knows? Everything's up yeah, there now. Knows now right? who but, knows? Uh, it's really, really fun. It was great to get back with the whole gang and Tina Fey and, and Robert Carlock are are uh, as good as always with the the jokes coming a mile a minute. So it's going to be great fun. You're just fantastic on that show, and people might not know that you started on Broadway too. I certainly did. First uh, I, my first show was a musical called Good Vibrations. Mm -hmm. uh, we may have the record uh, for staying in previews the longest while we got our show together. Uh, yeah. But, you know, it was my debut, so all of it was fun. I, 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 I loved every minute. You're a fantastic singer. You got a song for us tonight? I do, my love. It's called The Glory of Love. Yeah? Take it, sweetie. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Take a little, I'm 
let your poor heart break a little. That's a story of, that's a glory of love. You gotta laugh a little, cry a little, before the clouds roll away a little. That's a story of, that's a glory of, as long as there's a two of us. You got the world and all the charm, and when the world is through, we got each other's arms to cut away and lose a and I love you. Keep spreading the goodness around, all right? I love you too. Thank you for having me, guys. Thanks. Don't forget the Actors Fund. Give.actorsfund.org hashtag, 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 hashtag slash, I think. Slash. There you go. Bye, guys. Please donate to the Actors Fund. This is what this is all about today. It's yeah. a fundraiser. Thank you, Titus. And up next, we have my neighbor for the last 20 years in uh, Miami, Gloria Estefan. Gloria! What's we up? Miss you. We miss you here, Ro. I know. I should never have moved from that place. You better believe it, girl. Every yeah. time I go by the house, it's there's Ro's house. It'll I always know. be your house. When I drive by now, I stay on Fisher when I come, and I drive by. I'm like, oh, that was my place. I know it. But you know what? You're here in spirit, and you're there doing this amazing thing, and we love you for it. How are you doing? How's the baby? How's the your grandchild? How everybody, is everybody? Everybody's everybody? great. Yeah. But I haven't been able to hug them in like almost 10 days. None yeah. of the kids, my grandson, you know how it is. But we have to do our part, right. you know. And it's funny because even though we're all so separated and sequestered, we're very together. And yeah. I think that says a lot. And I'm only hoping that, you know, uh, when this is all over, which it will be, that we, uh, you know, we sacrifice so much for each other to keep each other safe. There's a lot of things we can do to make the world a better place. And I hope we do that when this is over and not just keep going like if nothing had happened. This is exactly. a thing. Change the whole world in one moment, right? You better believe it. Now, are you there with Emilio? And is anybody- I am. Else? He's going to come by. He's got a special surprise for you after I do a little song. Excellent. Or do you want him now and then I do the song? This is your show. You tell me how you want it. Well, let's sing and then bring him in. What do you say? All right. I'm going to do a song that I wrote years ago, but kind of celebrates the hero in each of us and the fact that there's always hope. There's always another day. Take it, Chloe. I've been alone inside myself far too long. Never really wanted it that way, but I let it happen. If I could do it all again, my life would be infinitely better than before I wouldn't waste a moment I'd make time for laughing with my friends Make love, make music, make amends Try to make a difference, try to love, try to understand 
Instead of just giving up, I choose the power at my command. But there's always tomorrow to start over again. Things will never stay the same. The only one sure thing is change. It's why there's always tomorrow. I guess it took a little time for me to see the reason I was born into this world, what I'd have to go through before I'd finally realize that I could be infinitely better than before, definitely stronger. I'll face whatever comes my way, yes we will, savor each moment of the day, love as many people as I can from six feet away, help someone who's giving up, if it's just to raise my eyes and pray, cause there's always Tomorrow to start over again. Yeah. Things will never stay the same. The only one sure thing is change. That's why there's always tomorrow. Always tomorrow. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Thank you. Come on over here, baby. Beautiful. We got a, we got a couple of Broadway babies for you, Ro. You oh, oh yeah. Matilda, we got them at Broadway Barks. No kidding. Yes, four years ago, we rescued them at Broadway Barks. Hola, mijo. I they say you. hello. Thank you for doing this. You are the only one who can pull this together. We love you. We miss you. We I love know. you too. I miss you so much. And you know, your Broadway show was just fantastic, you guys. I saw it like six times. I loved every... Oh, Gloria Estefan, you get that flan out of there. <laughs> I got this shirt especially for you. <laughs> you flan hater. Oh, I am a flan hater. <laughs> I'm going to send it to you, but you know, in the meantime, baby, I'm going to enjoy some of this flung. And by the way, thank you to everybody that came out to see our show. We love you. It's been all over the world. We had to stop a month short in the UK because obviously we've all stopped. And right, uh, right. But we'll all be back with music and Broadway. Back. I love you. I was listening to Coming Out of the Dark because I just felt like I needed to cry. And I Oh. remembered you know when you get it it gets so tense you know so many feelings of fear and i put that on and i felt a lot better we're we're gonna come out of the dark soon ro i know we're all you know uh going through an unprecedented experience but let's just make it better when it's over let's not just live through all of this and then keep things the same let's try to fix the things we can make the world better we can make nature take care of nature and and our kids you know it's a thing of kids how about your daughter, Emily, and her music career taking off like you can't believe yes, it? Yes, she's amazing. She's the best musician of all of us, yeah. honestly. Well, when I look at her, I can't help but think of her as six years old in the pool. That's right. right? Yes, playing with all your kids and yeah. who's who knew, right? But uh, she, she wishes is. she could be on here too, but she's sequestered. I think I haven't seen, every time I go say hello to her, she's wearing a mask, a hazmat suit. It's like, for God's sake, it's not that bad. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Better to be careful. Hey, we got a friend of yours coming up. Stay right there. Are All you right. around, Lynn? Is he there? I'll eat flan in his oh, eyes. Oh, wow. Hey. Hey. Lynn, you want some flan, baby? Oh, my God. Flan and dogs and uh, Stefan's. This is the best show ever already. Don't include it. Don't include it. Well, you can give me all the flan Rosie isn't having. Yeah. I will, I will, I will. Flan, no matter what she does, I will not eat her flan. <laughs> you will eat my flan. One day, Gloria, but not soon. We love you guys. We love you. Bye-bye. Love you guys. 
Hi, Lynn. How are you? Hi, Rosie. How are you? Good. How's the babies doing? The babies are good. You're catching me between uh, <laughs> dinner time and bath time. It's all I hands am. on deck. And, I uh, understand. I but understand. We're, we're having a blast. They saw Singing in the Rain for the first time today. No kidding. Was it they was, the whole thing? Uh, yeah, they did. Well, Sebastian was in and out, but the baby saw Moses supposes and started fake tap dancing all over the house. He made us rewind it five times. So wow. the little one's the dancer. Now they're too little to really explain what's going on. They don't have any idea. They're three yeah. and one, right? Uh, they're, they're five and two. Yeah. And this oh, has wow. just been sort of the, uh, the super mom and dad sleepover of their lives. It's been great to just have us home. I think so. Yeah. It's, been, it's been nice for them. It'll be interesting to see uh, when they look back on this time. And what are you and your wife binging at night? You binging some shows? We finished Cheer last night. Which is good, right? Oh my God, Jer just Jerry deserves the world. I know. It was so, it was so fantastic. It was uh, so really. dangerous. Who knew it was that dangerous? Oh, I did because I'm the right co-writer of Bring It On on Broadway and I basically oh, had a heart attack every night uh, yeah. until it was over. <laughs> I'll bet. And so it brought a lot of memories back of working on that show. Um, but yeah, we're uh, we're binging that, and then we like finally hooked up the Nintendo online. So I'm playing like old school Zelda and Metroid and ice hockey. And that's more fun than you can imagine. Hey, yeah. what was the last show you saw before it went dark? What was the last show I saw before? Oh, that's a great question. Um, I don't know. I, I was so looking forward to seeing company tonight. I had my tickets for tonight for Sondheim's 90th yeah, birthday. Right. Um, so it's been wonderful to see sort of the Sondheim celebrations online uh, all day. But this was sort of, I, I was really looking forward to this. And, yeah, I was wanting to go to that too. But yeah. uh, I saw the girl from North Country, the Bob Dylan one. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, honey, it was absolutely <sighs> spectacular. And Mayor Winningham, if they're going to have a Tony Award I mean, this year, you incredible. Know. And we had our incredible alum, Austin Scott, in that production as yeah. well. He was an amazing Hamilton for us on Broadway. Yeah. Well, you know, I saw it a couple times, your show. I, I, I see your hoodie. I am grateful for that. Well, I have <laughs> 10 of them. And whenever I feel down, <laughs> I, I need protection, I put it on. Well, listen, I, I loved I loved being watching your show, and I can't believe I get to be on your show. I'm sorry it's under these circumstances, but I'm glad it's back uh, for a night. Uh, you know, my sister and I watched you ever since you were a VJ on, v on VH1 back in the day, so we're, wow. we're, we're old school fans. Well, you're, uh, you know, you are the next Stonheim, and you're <laughs> the next everyone, and so keep doing what you do. What do Thank you, you so now? much for doing this. Your show in the Heights, the movie's coming out. Yeah, we're we're uh, you know we're we were literally recording the score when all of this started happening. So there's a lot that still remains to be done on that right. movie. We were finishing the score and the mixing and just getting the music uh, exactly right. Um, but I I'm really hopeful for that. Something we all get to watch in the theaters together um, yeah. uh, when it's when it's time and and no sooner when, when we feel safe to to go out. Thank you for raising all this money for the Actors Fund. It's yeah. so important. Click the button right on there if you're watching at home. Yep. Click the button and come on down and, and donate yep. some money. Help all the theater professionals. The, there's the bridge. There it is. There's the Heights. Here we are. Lights up on Washington Heights. So Lights up. Yeah, I'm wearing my Usnavi hat for you tonight. Yeah, all right. Well, thank you, honey. I love you for doing this. Thanks. All right. Love you, too. Have a great show. All right. Go and uh, take care of those babies. All right, we're back, and you know who's next? The unbelievably talented Cynthia Irvino, and she is, you are it, girl. Do you remember when I met you, I just grabbed you and wouldn't let you go? <laughs> I do. Just so oh, crazy. So unbelievable. I just Thank watched you. you in The Outsider. You watched it? I watched the whole thing, and you know, I have a little Aspie girl at home. She's seven years old, and I loved watching the grown adult in that kind of spectrum disorder land, making herself useful and a productive and happy life. It was such a beautifully hopeful thing. I loved Thank it. You. you know, one of the, the things that I was most proud of uh, when it came to doing this was trying to represent people who are on the spectrum, um, you know, as human beings with lives and emotions and uh, wants and needs and confusion and all of that, because uh, I felt like we haven't really seen um, a true enough representation of those wonderful people. And I had so many re people reach out because of it, which um, meant the world really. Yeah. Parents and mothers and people themselves who, who are on the spectrum, who hadn't seen themselves. And so well, it's wonderful. And Holly. The yeah. Outsider on HBO, right? Yeah. Yes, because I'm watching so many things now, I forget where they're. 
And also, you as um, Harriet Tubman, unbelievable. Thank Cynthia. you. Truly Thank you unbelievable. Thank you. Really. I mean, how were you were in England? Were you doing lots of theater in England before you came? I was do yeah, I was, I was mostly on stage um, in London, um, off uh, West End, on West End, all of that. It was just, that was what I was doing stage. And I did a little bit of TV and then came over to do the, the, uh, the Color Purple. And then right. here I am now. The Color Purple, that show made me cry my eyes out, that show. <laughs> I love that show. I loved your performance in it. Thank you were just so super talented. I can't even begin to give you enough accolades at the Irene. Thank you. It means a lot coming to you. Thank you so much. It's and been like being, doing that show changed my entire life. It really did. Yeah, yeah I'm sure. And how has it felt to you to go from sort of being an unknown person in England to like an Academy Award nominee here in the United States? I mean, I'm not, see, I've not done that. That sentence is a new, I've not said it like that. No one, I've not heard anyone say it like that. So it feels really surreal. Um, and it's been uh, eventful to say the least, at least. And to, to be able to do that, I just didn't, I don't think you could have told me 10 years ago that that was what was going to happen. At right. Did it feel um, very quick? Because it felt to me like you arrived and then boom, you know? It, it did feel like it, like there's the there's the bit that you do before that takes a really long time and then something happens and all of a sudden everything happens really quickly. And that's what it felt like. Yeah. It was like I was on a, on a train sort of moving at a leisurely pace and then that just sort of like left the station real quick. Your performance at the Oscars was show stopping. Thank you. I was surprised that you didn't win that song, honestly. I, I was like, well, just give her the trophy now. Don't let anyone else sing. Just you know, hand it to her. It's, it's so strange. The only thing I wanted from that night was for, for the song to go well and for people to receive it really well. And when I was stood on the stage and people stood up after hearing the song, I honestly had to gulp back tears because I did not expect that reaction at all. It was unbelievable. I had my mom sitting in the front row and it was just like, the whole thing was a complete dream come true. And I, I'm so glad that people loved it. I'm so I, glad. That I can't wait till they do the movie of your life to have this, you know, young theater actress from England come and just explode with her talent all over the United States. And I mean, it makes for good you're, content. That's you're a sure. plague that I would like to have. If I could get the <laughs> Irvino plague, I would be happy. Cause you're just it for me. <laughs> So thank you so much. You're familiar with the Actors Fund, yes? Yes. Everyone needs to give. Please give, give, give. Um, the address is give.actorsfund.org forward slash Rosie. Give now. We need some money. We want to, we want to make sure that everyone's okay during all of this. Yeah. So. And it's not just for the actors. Some people have written me and said, you know, why do actors need actors need it? Broadway actors don't make a lot of money. They make just no. enough to live. They live in, yeah. you know, three or four in an apartment in New York City usually when they're just in the court. Right. And, and, but this is for the ushers and the makeup artists, the wig makers, the riggers, everybody. 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 Yeah. yeah. Well, that thank you. Holds a lot of people and it, we need help to make sure that everyone can take care of themselves. Yes. When this is over, I would like to take you to dinner so I can just tell you again I would love that. how fantastic you are. I would love that. All right. Love that. And I'd love to like garner some advice and everything from you. I, well, I don't know if I can give you that, but I'll do what I can. <laughs> thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Rosie. All right. Cynthia Urbina, how talented is she? Boy, oh boy. And speaking of talented, the queen of all Broadway. There is only one man who can lead any workers regime. The most talented woman I know, Patty Lapone. <laughs> Hi, darling. Oh, Hi, doll. You're oh, so man. fabulous, Rosie. Oh. It's great. I'm good for my garage. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> how do you feel patty you doing good yeah i'm doing good uh you know we're just we're holding on you know right. I'm, I'm i'm playing pool and beating my husband and then our kid beats us and then uh i cut his hair today it doesn't look very good but we're holding yeah. on. Are, you? are you holding on i am my, my 20 year old son is working at the grocery store and he asked me to cut his hair yesterday and uh, i thought i don't know if we would survive that if the play goes longer you know what i mean <laughs> Me ruining his hair, but yeah, well, I didn't do a good job with Matt, but <laughs> you do what you can in times of trouble. Exactly. Now, um, what have you been doing to sort of get through it? Have you been doing puzzles? Have you been playing games? Have you been binging? I no, I haven't watched any television. I've been or computer basically. Uh, I've watched the news and then turned the news off, and then I read. And we, I, we've been playing games. We've been playing games. I've been cooking a lot. And I've been walking, I'm in the country, so I've been walking outside and um, 
I'm trying to take stock of this time, this yes. in, in reflection. And, and as um, Gloria said, hopefully this will change a lot of things. Yes. Hopefully it'll change a lot of things. Look what I'm wearing, Dom. I was going to say, I love your attire. Ah. Your Donald Show swag. It's got holes in it, but I, you know, I, I treasure it. So yeah, it's probably 20 something years old. That's why <laughs> it's a great spirit. So you were starring in company right when this thing hit and you guys didn't get to even do your opening night. Did you? No, no. Tonight is the opening night. Right. So sad. Yeah. And hopefully will you be able to come back? Do we know yet? Depends how long it takes or. Nobody knows. I mean, nobody knows if, if I, nobody knows. Um, that's what I know. I know nothing. You know, yeah. I don't know when Broadway goes back. Hopefully, um, we will come back. But I mean, I I, I don't know. I just oh, yeah. I've never thought of this before. It's a great time of unknowing. We have to get used to not knowing what's going to happen, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And we'll live, you know, and and make sure that every moment in our lives, in our day, counts. Yes. Yes. Even if you just have it sitting around with your little seven-year-old playing Play-Doh, you know. Exactly. You have. You know, I have time with my family. I have. I have time. I have time. And and usually in our business, we don't have time. Correct. You know, we're always working. We're always moving to another place. We're always doing something. And this is, this is time to reflect and time to um, pray for a better world. Yes, indeed. Good note to be taken. Will you sing for us, Patty Lepone? I will. Now, um, Scotty wanted me to sing. I got two for you, but Scotty wanted. Yeah. A uh, hundred years from today, and I I listened to the lyrics and I went, does it apply? So we'll start with that one. Um, Life is such a great adventure. Learn to live it as you go. No one in the world can censure what we do here below. Why save your kisses? Just pass them around. You'll find my reason is logically sound. Who's gonna know if you pass them around? A hundred years from today. Why crave a penthouse that's fit for a queen? You're nearer heaven on Mother Earth's green. If you had millions, what would they all seem? A hundred years from today. So laugh and sing, make love the thing. Be happy while you may. There's always one beneath the sun bound to make you feel that way the moon is shining and that's a good sign cling to me closer and say you'll be mine remember darlings we won't see it shine a hundred years from today a hundred years from today Beautiful as always. I love your voice so much. Okay. What are you going to do another one too? What do you got? This is the one I wanted to sing. So Scotty, I'm doing it anyway. Okay, so I got to get the note. I never sing it. And I, this is one of my favorite songs in the world. Smile, though your heart is aching. Smile, even though it's breaking. When there are clouds in the sky, you'll get by. If you smile through your fear and sorrow, smile and maybe tomorrow, you'll see the sun come shining through. If you just light up your face with gladness, hide every trace of sadness, although a tear may be ever so near. That's the time you must keep on trying. Smile, what's the use of crying? You'll find that life is still worthwhile. If you just light up your face with gladness, hide every trace of sadness, although a tear may be ever so near. That's the time you must keep on trying. Smile, what's the use of crying? You'll see that life is still worthwhile. 
If you just smile. Oh, Patty LaPone, I love you so much. I really love you too, Lizzie. Thank you for doing this. And everybody, please donate to the Actors Fund. It's right there. Give to theactorsfund.org. It's helping all of the people that have been displaced by this. And before that, it helped everybody that needed help. And and it's a really wonderful organization. And, and if we do another one of these, I'm requesting Meadowlark. <laughs> well, okay. I, I had a favorite story. Just a little hint. <laughs> I love you, Patty. Thank you. you. Rosie, God bless. Bye-bye. Oh, she is so good. I saw her in Evita. There is only one man who can lead any workers regime. He lives for your trouble. He feels your deals and your dreams. He's a fortune, for he loves you, understands you, is one of you. I'm a little bit of a Broadway nerd. I admit it, but boy, she is somebody who, I don't think I've missed one performance of hers on Broadway, I really don't. And speaking of Broadway talent, Tony Award winners, our next guest, Mr. Ben Platt, whose dad I know. Hey, Ben. Hello. How hey, are Rosie, you? How you doing? Good, good to see you. Good to see you too. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. You also sort of skyrocketed to success after Dear Evan Hansen. The performance it was a crazy experience. Yeah. What were you doing before that? Were you acting in theater regionally or? Yeah, I started working when I was like nine years old. I played like Winthrop and Music Man and oh. Young Patrick and Mame. And I was one of the Von Trapp children. And I grew up musical theater 24 seven in the house. Uh, yeah. Always musicals. Yeah. So were you around great. when your dad and they were putting together Wicked? Were you, were you one of the kids who heard the first? I did. I remember getting driven around on the weekends and my dad would play the, the workshop uh, CD in the car and I'd get to hear all the cut songs and all the different people who came in and played the witches over the years and watch it come together. And clearly they did a good job. Yeah. How long were you in here? <laughs> oh, from beginning to end, it was about a four year process. Uh, uh, yeah, we did a bunch of readings, workshops. We did a, a production in Washington, D.C., a production off Broadway. And then finally I did it for about a year on Broadway. Uh, and then it's been a while. I left in 2017. And was that your first love? Was that your first choice in, in acting to be on Broadway? Always, my, always my biggest dream. My favorite, my favorite type of art is musical theater because you get to see kind of the inside of a character's soul when they sing. And I think it's super, super special. And I love how you seem to have such a tight relationship with all the young theater actors now, like Beanie and like I, when I see you guys, you're in little clusters of friends and it's, so, well, it's so nice. It's like the next generation, you know? It is, it's been really special. Yeah, we, I grew up doing theater with, with a lot of people who ended up uh, having really beautiful success like Beanie. And so it's crazy to watch everybody to my left and right having beautiful moments too. And it makes everything a lot sweeter. And I miss getting to hug them all, but we're, we're FaceTiming and playing games and making it through one day at a time. Exactly. You gonna yeah. sing for us, Ben? Yes, I am. What are you gonna sing? I'm gonna sing Make You Feel My Love. It's like my favorite sort of warmth, comfort song. I feel it like it's a little musical fireplace. So I'm gonna sing, excuse my playing, but I'm gonna sing Make You Feel My Love. All right, take it, Ben Platt. <clears throat> Hi. 
my way of regret. No winds of change are blowing wild and free. You have seen nothing like me yet. I can make you happy, make your dreams come true. Nothing that I Go to the ends of the earth for you to make you feel my love, to make you feel my love. Just beautiful, Ben. Just beautiful. You're so talented. Thank you. I love Thank your, you for having me, Rosie. Honey, I loved your first album. I hear you working on your next one. Oh, thank you for listening. Yes, yes. And now I have some extra time to work on it. So I'm going to try and make some good music for everybody to enjoy while we're all at home. Well, excellent. Thank you for being here, Ben Platt. Thanks for having Thanks. me. Donate. Click the button. Click the button, please. There we go. Isn't he talented? You know, his dad is a very famous producer. And uh, he used to run one of the studios, I believe. When I did Sleepless in Seattle, he was the executive, his dad, Mark Platt, on that movie. And um, I remember that he was a little baby. And now look at him, Tony Award winner. And me with gray hair, old, 58 yesterday. Can you believe that? I can't. Oh, look, who, who's next is Melania Trump. No, it's not really, but it's someone who plays her on the late night shows, and she's hysterical. Hi, Laura. Hi. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm okay. You know, hanging in there day by day. Yeah. What have you been doing? I um, have been taking care of my child who's three years old. Yes, that's not easy. Some things. So now all of a sudden there's mommy and daddy school. Right. Basically just me being like, here's the TV. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm doing with my kid. You want your iPad? Here you go. And ever I go on Instagram and people are like, today we built a castle out of toilet paper. And then we read and I'm like, cool. I did not. Yeah, I didn't do that either. Yeah. When they asked me to do this show, I said, well, finally, a reason to take a shower, you yeah. know? Yes, I showered just before this, and it was my first one. Yeah, I understand. Now, you did an amazing thing on your Twitter, Instagram. You told people, tell tell everybody what you did. It was I thought it was so beautiful, Laura. Thanks, Rosie. So my mom's a voice teacher, and she was, when I got home, we're in New Jersey with my parents, and when we got home, she was saying that all of her students, all of the kids are so disappointed that they're not able to do their high school musicals. Right. So I thought, you know what? Let me let me just make a little video for them on Instagram and Twitter, letting them know that if they want to send me the videos, they want to tag me, I want to watch them. And I had no idea it was going to turn into this beautiful thing that it's become. The hashtag is Sunshine Songs. And um, you can go you know, on Twitter and Instagram and watch them all. These kids are so talented. And I just love the fact that they are getting a platform to perform for people when they were so disappointed you know I know for me like my musical was my high school musical was a salve you know it was the yes, thing that I totally do all year it was the only place where I felt seen and and like accepted so I think to take that away from from kids is really hard especially because this is an anxiety producing time you know right so and this is a this is a generation of kids that self identifies as more anxious than any previous generation. So to me, it just felt really important that I provide some sort of audience for them so that they know. Yeah, and, and if you want to lift your spirits and you want to get chills all over, go to that hashtag and just. I just one day watched them all. Are you they know? so good? I know. Yeah, it's it's so good. Good. The video's been seen three point seven million times, wow. and we have over two thousand videos on on a. Twitter alone. So, so tell me, how did you get to be asked to play Melania? How did it start? So weird. So I was on the Colbert show, wow. um, just promoting She Loves Me. And um, he he was like, you look like Melania Trump, which I don't think I do in real life. No, I don't think you do in real Yeah. And then he put us side by side. And actually, there was a picture where it was kind of, you could sort of see it. And then I just did the face and all of a sudden it was there. Right. And then I never thought of it again. And then a few months later, it was the Republican National Convention and she had her famously plagiarized Michelle Obama speech. Right. And I woke up to like a hundred 
email text messages and phone calls from the Colbert show being like, do you want to try and whip together an impression? And we did it live. It was a live show. So we did it live. And like, I had like five hours to figure it out. Well, you're so funny. I've seen you at all the Broadway bears and the Broadway gypsy robe and the, all of those performance things that the Broadway community does. And you're always hysterical in all of them. You crack me up, Laura. You really do. Well, that means a lot coming from you. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. How are you getting through watching TV? Are you binging? Are you? No, I'm really, I mean, I joke that I like gave my kid an iPad, but really I'm just trying to focus as much time on my daughter as I can. Um, and honestly, watching these, watching these videos and then trying to be of service. I'm doing a lot of research into how best I can help in my community. And I'm trying to mobilize people through my social media platform to be helpful in that way as well. I'm working on a project that's actually going to come out April 10th with all of the proceeds going to Food Core, which helps um, feed kids who rely on school for the majority of their meals. Right. So I, I'm just really trying to, activism is a big part of my life in general. Yeah. Uh, that's how I sort of cope with the world. And it's the only way I know how to deal with this stress. Yeah. Um, yeah. And just cookies. Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe me. One day, I, last week, I ordered, or two weeks ago, uh, on Amazon, what I thought was four packs of sugar cookies. And today they arrived, and it was four boxes of I sugar mean, honestly, great. Party, exactly. That's what we need right yeah. now. Well, honey, thank you for being here. Support the actors fun like you always do. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And uh, thanks, for, thanks for being our um, guest here. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right, Laura, take care of yourself. Oh, well, there you are. We were, we were fixing it. We were, we were, uh, wait, talk. Hi. Oh, now you sound so good. I'm going away now. Bye. Thank you, Eric. Eric is our producer. You may recognize him from Madam Secretary. He's the one who called me up and said, Hey, Ro, you want to uh, do this? And I'm like, well, if you put it together and before you knew it, kaboom, he did the whole thing. So thank you, Eric. And thanks for checking in when my mic breaks. Okay. Next up is the woman who won a Tony award for wicked the woman who is frozen and she is just delightful in real life as well as on stage and animation. Please welcome Adina Menzel. Adina. Hi, hi honey. How are, you? How are you doing? I'm surviving. How about you? I'm good. I feel like, wait, am I on? Am I, did I do it right? You're good. You're right. You're on. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm surviving. I'm good. Look, but half my face is on it, right? Am yeah, you're, no, your face is good. We got you straight okay. centered. Uh, now I'm going, yeah, I guess I'm going a little bonkers. <laughs> yeah, I am too. Welcome to the club. There's millions of us, I think. I just, I, I rebounded about 400 basketballs with my son on our basketball court to try to get him moving around and get myself moving around because I have been eating the house. And, um, I don't know. I've been trying to cook because I'm not a good cook. So I thought now is the time. So I tried a lasagna, but I put too much ricotta cheese. So my husband didn't like it very much. Well, I think lasagna is like a level, a level, you know, top chef level. You should go for yeah. like Boyardi SpaghettiOs or something. I know. Well, that I do. You know, that I'm like a pancake. I make good pancakes. And that's about it. So I was trying to up my game a little bit, you know. Right. And then I'm homeschooling. Have you seen that video of the woman, the mom, who's the Israeli mom, who's yes. talking out about homeschooling? It's, it's so on the nose for me. Literally, fractions is what I've been asked to work on with my son recently. And all I know is how to invert them and multiply or divide. I don't know how to break it down and do the math the way he's being taught these days. And I'm just, he gets angry and he thinks we're just so stupid. How old is he? He's 10 and it's so much pressure to homeschool and that, and that woman who has four kids and trying to organize everybody's, you know, all the, 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 the getting on the right, getting online on the right site and making sure he turns in his homework on time. And it's, it's very, it, it, you know, you project a lot of your own shit. When yes, you on. totally do, without a doubt. My daughter was all, uh, you know, upset because her prom got canceled. 
you know. Oh, that's so, horrible. Right. She's like, first my spring break, now my prom. I'm like, I, I, I get it's it. A pandemic, I get it, but it's a pandemic. We all have to get through the. No, but it's relative, you know. That's yeah. relative. Her 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 problems with that and feeling sad about that. It's it's so hard and. I don't know. I, I I follow you all the time, and I let I just funnel my anger through you, and I allow you to feel it more than mine. Well, when, when I'm like getting all my anger as well as yours through your that, body. I'm when it comes to the administration's lack of response, it's very hard for me to keep it under under. Did you, you know, Rachel Maddow the other day. Oh, she, she was. Well, she just couldn't take it. I mean, it's just how I feel. So then I try to turn it off, but then I don't want to be uneducated, and it's, so it's a constant you know, going back and forth and trying to find the right balance and not freak out my son and, you know, whatever. Let me ask, does your son have any interest in Frozen too? <laughs> yeah, it's, he's, con he's conflicted about it, I think. Yeah. We did, oh, we had to write a creative writing story. So one of the stories was um, if you were a squirrel at the lab school, which is a school he goes to in LA, what would be your perspective as the squirrel? at school. So he was writing about how, you know, be careful because um, you don't want those stupid Elsa lunchboxes to hit you. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime he finds to denigrate my my life's work. Right. All of us with yeah. little ones home have been listening to it as soon as Disney put it on Disney Plus. That was it. It's been like constant in our house ever since. I I'm sorry. I think Don't I be sorry. Your voice is spectacular in it, and it's a great Disney movie. So is Frozen. I cry my eyes out. I'm proud of it, and he's proud of it. When he was in his music class before school closed, the teacher asked all the kids to raise their hand and say what, uh, who's a singer they really love, and he said, my mom. So oh, even yeah. though he pretends to, you know, kind of be against this girly Elsa person, he really he appreciates it. Well, when time gets back to normal and Adina is touring, go see her because I took all my team one year, my daughter and all her friends, and they had the most fantastic time, and so did I. I love your voice. I love you, and you're a great performer. So keep doing it when Thank this is so over. Much. I love you so much. Thank you for just being a leader and getting us all to do this. And everybody donate and um, help our friends. It's just I can't believe Broadway and the whole theater community, everybody's – well, at the world is dark, but um, – you know, so many of our friends we know. Yes. Um, all the crew and all the people that we know work so hard. Yeah. Eight shows a week that um, need this gig to pay their bills every day. To live. You know, people say, well, your actors, you can, the rich actors should help. But it's not just about actors. It's about the usher in Kentucky, you know, and it's about mm -hmm. the national tour people. And it's a whole community of people that we, you know, encompass. So we're going to take care of as many as we can with your help tonight. So thank you, Adina. Yeah. I love you. Okay, thanks, everybody. Love you Bye. guys out there. Bye. Adina Menzel, how good is she? Elsa, come on. My daughter uh, was a little bit afraid of, of Frozen 2 because of the song, you know? Into the unknown! Into the unknown! How can people sing like that? I don't even know. Hey, we had some friends who came by who wanted to just drop in and say hello. We put together a little package. Take a look at this. Hi, Riley. Aaron here, coming to you from my New York apartment. Uh, I've been so fortunate to be in Moulin Rouge on Broadway for the last 10 months, and I think the thing that I miss the most about live theater right now is the connection to our audience and connection to people. So what an incredible thing for us all to be able to come together to raise money for the incredible organization, the Actors Fund, who do such, such necessary work helping people in crucial times like this. So thank you for anything you can contribute. Broadway will be back. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay inside. Hey Rosie, Rob McClure here, coming to you from Philly. I just wanted to say thanks. You've always been such an amazing advocate for the theater community, not just actors and musicians, but the professionals backstage as well. And uh, it's a crazy time for us. So thanks for throwing love and light at the Actors Fund, who can provide help to professionals all over the country. Uh, in the words of Euphigenia Doubtfire, all my love to you, Poppet. You're going to be all right. Stay safe. Rosie, I am so happy to be a part of this. I used to run home every day from school to watch Harriet the Spy, and I just thought you were the coolest. And you've always been really kind to me whenever we've crossed paths, so I really appreciate you and appreciate you getting all these people together. The Broadway theater community has given me so much since I was a young girl, and to be able to support them through this crazy time means a lot. So whatever you can donate, go to the Actors Fund, and you can support these beautiful people during this time. Stay safe. We are all in this together, you guys. 
Hi, Rosie and everyone. Please, everyone, donate to the Actors Fund. They help everyone in front of the camera and everyone behind the scenes. Every show that you may go to, there's so many people working to make this happen for you. So please, if you can, donate. I'd like to close this by adding something else I do. When I'm in the home, I wear my mask, but it's a beauty mask. And she doesn't need it. I gotta tell you, she's like the living Dorian Gray female version. Every time you see Bernadette Peters, she looks younger and more vital and alive. I, I saw her last at the uh, last show I saw, which is the girl from North Country, the Bob Dylan musical with Mayor Winningham, who's gonna win a Tony. And um, Bernadette was sitting right across from me and afterwards we gave each other a hug and then two days later, the world closed down. So I always wondered, I hope I didn't infect Bernadette Peters by hugging her at that show. I don't think I did. The word's good. She's looking healthy. She'll probably outlive all of us. All right, who's next? My favorite human on the planet. Yes, Cheetah Rivera. The oh. legend. Hi, Cheetah. Hi. I, 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 you caught me. I was sitting here just having a good time, oh. just listening to you and visiting all of my old buddies. I know. Isn't it great? You get to see everyone. Oh. It's fantastic. Uh, and what you're doing is so amazing. Uh, I'm so glad to be a part of it, honey. I oh, really. You. you are the Broadway legend. You are her. You are it. You are the oh. one. Oh. <laughs> oh. Go on and say it. Well, you look damn good, Cheetah Rivera. <laughs> so, how have you been pa passing the time while you've been home? How have you been passing the time? Well, I've been talking to my Lisa, my daughter, mm -hmm. and you know, the only thing that you can say uh, is that's coming out of this is that you're getting to spend more time. And I, I know a lot of people have said it, but it's all so simple. Uh, there's nothing left to do, but just spend more time, be absolutely clear and sincere with those that you love and let them know that you love them and right. be a better human being. And you got you have time to spend on that. Yeah. So, um, you know, I I love seeing you. I never see you. I you know. know. I don't see you that much anymore. I moved from where you were and now I'm in New Jersey. Uh, yeah, why? Because my Blakey needed to go to a school with a good IEP for his learning disability. So we moved all the way up here and now here we are. Yeah, but I would love when this is over. I'm we're gonna all go out to dinner. Lisa, you and me, maybe Rosie even. Oh yeah, well Rosie's here. Good. And they're all they're all looking at you, but um oh Rosie, I um I'm I'm concerned about um our friends who um are are not as fortunate as we are. Yes. And, uh, we're in a great business. Um, the Actors Fund proves that because it takes care of its own. Yes. Um, it takes care. And you're so right that Usher out there in Kentucky, mm -hmm. you can go out on stage and feel crappy and one person could be there or one packed house and one person is in the front row smiling yeah. or, you know, and that one person means everything right I mean, right it means everything i so and, know what you mean yeah yes and, yeah i i'm so happy to be a part of the the actors fund and they have certainly helped me through all all these years yeah you know. how's your family how's that big italian family of yours italian oh not italian sorry dancing on the kitchen table that's it, that's it. Well, the Italian is Lisa. Right, that's, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I asked Lisa when she was a baby, okay, is it Italian? Is it uh, um, pasta or is it rice and beans? And what'd she say? She said, sorry, mom, it's pasta. It's pasta. Well, oh, there you go. And the Puerto Rican lost out to the Italian. <laughs> Hey, um, what if you had to? I know you don't like to pick. Probably you don't want to hurt a feeling. Who's your favorite leading man ever? Oh, come on! 
I don't know. You don't know. I just, I've got the best. I mean, Dick and I was stupid. He was so great. So And he still is. Yes, he he is. You know, and, um, and Antonio. Oh, well, excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. All he's got to do is like step out there and you made it to just leave the stage. I used to say to my friends, um, okay, you came to see, um, uh, at the show and oh, no. nine and tell the truth. You came to see Antonio. Right. You? That's the truth. He's been, nice to look at, honey. Uh, totally. I mean, he used to, at, at the end of the number, the, the tango number, I would kick and I, it would let, he grab it at his shoulder and I would turn to the audience and say, eat your heart out. <laughs> And it was one of the big biggest laughs in the show because everybody knew that Antonio Banderas was phenomenal in the singing, the dancing, the acting, and not hard to look at. Yeah, that sounds like you, Cheetah Rivera. All of it. It does. You are you are something else. You are. You really are. Everyone in this community loves you. You're like our queen mother. And we will uh, protect you and, and take care of you. And I hope that you're safe. And I can't wait to see you when this is over. All right, my love. All God right. Love you you take you. care. And don't forget to donate to the Actors Fund. Thanks, Cheetah Rivera. Thank you. you know. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you. Love you. Bye. Oh, God, I love her. You know, I have a charity for children where we teach them musical theater starting in fifth grade all the way up until they go to college. And she has been like one of the greatest supporters. She comes and she teaches all the kids and talks to them. And we have her photos all over the school. She is really a living legend of Broadway. She really is. Okay, where are we? Here we are. Oh, coming up next, the unbelievably gifted Alan Menken, ladies and gentlemen. Alan, hey, Alan. Hi, Rosie. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. I got three kids at home, but I'm making my way through that. (laughs) <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's great here too. It's uh, yeah. it's a weird time, but it's great. Have you been writing? Have you been? What have you been doing in your downtime? This has been a great time for writing. Yeah, it's, we had the you know production stopped on the Little Mermaid movie. We were for, we recorded all the songs, and I wrote you know four new songs with Lynn Manuel Miranda. Wow, they were just for Mermaid, and I'm working on Disenchanted, the sequel to Enchanted, and um. We have, uh, I have another Broadway show. Um, we have, uh, oh my God, oh, the Hercules. Hercules is coming wow. to, to the stage. Of course, we did that at Central Park last summer. And um, just, a, you know, a, a whole bushel of, of new projects. Now, but, yeah. you are the writer of everything great that Disney has ever done. And, well, not everything, but thank you. Well, you are, and uh, you go. You put a little medley together for us. I did. Would I did? Would you like to hear some songs? I'd love to hear some of your stuff. Okay, here's for everybody. A little bit of entertainment. <laughs> Thank you. 
us. We're the kings of New York. Here we are, sister and brother, helping each other. Because we're the kings of New York. Give to the Actors Fund. Yes. It's so important. I don't know what it feels so, like for you to have written all those things. It must be really amazing. I don't know if you were able to take it in, that you support life for a lot of us. I No, I feel very blessed. I do. And I, you know, I feel it, you know, it comes through me in a way, but it also is part of all of us. What I love about work, working in the theater, especially in musical theater, is it's so collaborative. Right. There's composers, there's lyricists, there's directors, there's choreographers, there's, there's the actors, there's the every aspect of it, and so many people are suffering right now. Yes. And I uh, can't wait to get more work on and to be with you know, our actors again. And but for now, we'll have to just content ourselves with saying hi to the screen here. Right. Well, thank you, Alan. Thank you so much for being here and for your life's work. It really. Thank you, Rosie. Thank you for doing this. Thank you. Actors Fund, everybody. Don't forget to donate. Hey, coming up next, my buddy, Neil Patrick Harris. Hey! Oh, the baby! Get I'm here with Gideon and Harper. How are you, Rosie? Hi, Gideon. Hi, Harper. How's it going being home? It's fine. Lots Boring. of screens. <laughs> Lots of screens. <laughs> they don't watch screens. We <laughs> don't know. We're doing lots of schoolwork and we're building uh, lots of projects. Yeah. Don't, don't, listen to that so don't listen to dad. No way. Are you in New York or are you in LA? We are. We're in New York. We live here in Harlem. Oh, excellent. 
So okay. uh, we've been spending the time spring cleaning and uh, and hanging out. It's actually been wonderful. I was supposed to be in Berlin, Germany, filming uh, uh, the the Matrix Four, the fourth Matrix sequel, and so we were all. Wow. We were all prepared for months and months to be disjointed as a family, and now we're all like hunkered in together. In a weird way, it's it's we're trying to find the silver linings. Oh, please don't. That said, I have to say, Rosie, this is so fun. Yeah. Watching, watching this, I know a lot of the people that are in it. We're fans of a lot of people. We take uh, we take David, my husband, and I take these kids to see tons of how many shows have you seen? Ah. Uh. Broadway shows, uh, fifteen or sixteen Broadway 16, shows. Yes. Wow! And so we're seeing people that we know, and we're getting to see them in their kitchens. Yes. Who like, and you get to so sort of sort of like you're watching them in their in their own environment in their own houses. It's really fun. So yeah. thank you for supporting the Actors Fund too. Well, thank you, Mr. Tony Award winner. You're a big part of the Broadway community, and you oh, always thanks. have been. Yeah, and that, have you worked with the Actors Fund before? You've done benefits for them. I I've bet. done benefits for them. Um, I like to I, like you. I like to crow about about people that are doing good things uh, at at important times. So whether that's hosting an award show and being able to tell people, hey, come see a Broadway show, or whether it's doing what you're doing right now and being able to tell people to support um, any way that they can. It's so crazy because this thing happens and you're reading the news, at least I was, trying to keep on top of it. Yeah. And then you start realizing just the levels the levels of people who are s having to suffer from it, who are losing yeah. their jobs. The yeah. Broadway community, you know, yes, the actors can't perform anymore, but but kind of in, indefinitely, like all of these, all of these shows, all these crews, all of these people who are living kind of paycheck to paycheck, and not I just know. in New York, but usually the, the the arts and the entertainment, it feels like when there's an earthquake or there's a a, a a terrible thing that happens, at least people can go back and and see a show, <laughs> and now it seems like this very strange time where you keep asking people like Patty Lapone, who's supposed to do company. Was yeah. open tonight, right? I'm right. asking her what's happening, and she doesn't even know. No one knows when this is gonna subside. And so within yeah. that, it's great to be able to support anywhere we can. If anyone's able to buy a gift card to a restaurant that they frequent, uh, yeah. just so that the people that 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 they know that are in their community are able to feel like they're being supported, and certainly the Actors Fund does that in spades. Yes. Hey, are your kids into magic like you were when you were little? Love the magic. That. You, be you better say yes. Do you want to say a magic trick? Magic? Are you into magic? Sure. You want to show a magic trick? Sure. Magic trick? sure. Watch this. All yeah, right. Let's see this. Come on. What? Deck of cards. Right. They're all different cards. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna um uh well before I do that yeah look this is a bag and inside the bag is a silk. Hold the bag up so she can see. Inside the silk, I mean inside the bag is a silk blank silk. Inside the silk is a bag. How dare you? <laughs> Inside the bag is a blank silk. I'm gonna put it away. Oh, show the bag is empty. That's very important. Uh, you can take rip inside out. Look at that. Empty, empty bag. Empty. I'm empty. Empty. Okay, put the silk inside the bag. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna take the deck of cards, the aforementioned deck of cards. I'm gonna riffle through Rosie and I want you to say uh stop or wherever you like. Stop. Right there? Got okay, it. Not gonna, that's not the card. I want you to take it. You chose you cut here at this. I'm gonna show this, okay? So can you see what it is? Yes, I'm not looking. You see, see what the card is? Yes. Okay. Now. Put it back in the deck. Give the deck a shuffle. Now, I want you to think of the card that you chose. Okay. You as well. Did you see it? Do I have to think? Yeah, you have to think it. We're all thinking. Okay. In the bag. Mm, okay, show what happened. What? I'm going to reach into the bag Don't and pull out the silk. Wait a second. Wait what? one second. Did okay. you choose okay, the now nine of on. spades? Now, come on. Come on. That's too good. I give you a bravo for that. All day, every day. They hate but it. Do you have Absolutely 50 new scarves that you, all, crazy. that you use for that? What's that? Do you have like 52 cards, like 52 scarves? <laughs> no, just the one scarf. Wow. I'm glad right. you chose that card. Yeah, I'm very lucky. We love Broadway. We love what you do. I remember when we I came and saw you, I came and saw you in Greece. And you it was one of my. I laughed so hard at all of the randomness that you did on stage, and you were so lovely backstage. And you, on your show, you represented the theater. I met my husband doing theater, David Bertka, who's a spectacular guy, is upstairs cooking bolognese right now. And but speaking we, of cooking, doesn't he have a brand new cookbook? 
He does. Life is a party with David Birdka, and he has Food Network specials for Halloween. But more than that, he's actually an actually super talented Broadway actor as well. He was yeah. also in the Gypsy that Bernadette Peters was in. Right. So uh, that's how we met. So um, we owe a lot to the theater. We owe a lot to actors and the Actors Fund, and mostly we owe a lot to you. So keep keep up the keep up the great work on the show. We can't wait to keep watching. Thank you, thank you, Neil. Thank you, guys. Harper Gideon. We'll see you again. You're welcome. Yep. Bye. Right. Good trip. Oh, how cute are those kids? Come on. Makes you want to have twins, doesn't it? I always wanted to have twins. I always thought I would have twins, but I never did. But I'm only 58. You never know. <laughs> fitting. Really fitting. Okay, so let's see who's going next. Is Brian available? And Brian is available. Yes, he is. Brian Stokes Mitchell, how are you, sir? I am I am so great to seeing the show, seeing you. Rosie, thank you so much for making this happen. You, Eric, and your team and everybody. Um, it's just uh, like Neil was saying, you know, it's it's this is a gathering place for not only people that we love to watch perform, but many of them are our friends. Yeah. And to see everybody doing this for the Actors Fund together uh, is incredible. I mean, it's, it's uh, probably uh, some people know. I don't know if everybody knows. Um, I'm the chairman of the board of the Actors Fund. Right. So in particular, I would like to say thank you to you on behalf of all of the people not only served by the fund, but the volunteers, the, the board, the staff, Joe Ben and Casa, everybody. Thank you for making this happen. Um, Tell everybody about the kind of people that you and the services you provide, because I don't think a lot of people understand. Yeah, and I'm so happy that I've been hearing people speaking about um, who we serve, um, because we serve the the entire entertainment community of the entertainment community professionals. Actually, um, it's interesting because, um, and if I get off on a tangent, bring me back. Okay. Um, but one of the things that, that I mean, I, I kind of got hit. Hey, Allison, hi. Allison, hey. <laughs> hi. <laughs> I, I, I was just going to mention her, by the way, because uh, one of the things we were just doing, this was supposed to be our closing night. We were both doing a production at Encores, City right. Center Encores of Love Life. And uh, tonight was, what time is it now? Oh, tonight was going to be, we would had, had just started the show now. Yeah. Uh, and then tomorrow I was supposed to shoot. I've been doing shooting some episodes of Prodigal Son also moved away and also i had a bunch of concerts uh in in uh, uh in the ready to go uh that i was supposed to do in the next couple of weeks um all of those have been canceled as well and i'm not saying this for any kind of pity or anything like that we're all in a, a tough time what i'm saying that for is because a lot of people um uh, don't realize that i'm not talking about the actors when somebody's out of work in a broadway show in a television show we're talking about the grips the writers the uh we got agents now we just had a major agency yesterday that uh just furloughed 100 people that's the first of maybe many no of them. Kidding. i didn't know that yes it happens to be my agency too that's how i i know about it but it's hit the news already um but there are so many people there's editors there's musicians there are a lot of people that are really the backbone of our industry and a lot of us are considered gig workers right now one of the things that we're fighting with the government the legislature legislators are trying to get uh uh you know figure out how to get money to people and they're considering artists performing artists particular but all artists gig workers um but you know what it it's what we do if you're doing a broadway show everything's a one-off you know uh, that you do if you're guesting in the show yeah it's a gig but that's how we get by and many people are living on the edge right now and having a really really difficult time so we serve uh, all members all entertainment professionals all members of the entertainment uh, community and uh i've been getting like some just joe ben and casa who's the president uh, of the fund and ceo of the fund we have been uh uh, staying in constant contact and he just sent me um, some things uh, th that because uh, how we're helping right now with this a couple uh, both theater actors with two small children and one on the way receive financial assistance towards food and rent uh, a diabetic musician who lost all of his gigs uh, received funds for his April health insurance premium um, a director who recently moved back to New York and was staying with friends, found out she was exposed to someone with COVID-19. So we helped her secure temporary housing to allow her to isolate. Um, and we've been getting really incredible uh, uh, 
feedback from people. Somebody said, thank you so much. Your help made me feel like we were not alone during this crisis. Uh, this was much needed and it's taken load off my shoulders. Um, we have a, a lot of different programs. People can go on actorsfund.org if they want to find out more about who we are, uh, what we do, because there's so many different programs. But uh, one of the things we were talking about is our addiction uh, uh, recovery services, for example. Sure. Um, we have a lot of people right now that are are uh, doing counseling with the Actors Fund, and um, the like this show. Everybody's pretty much working from home now, but our addis uh, addiction recovery counselors are actually going in and meeting people with a social distance between them because, man, uh, it's a really really tough time, and if, especially if you're you're recovering from from uh, addiction, you, you yeah. want to be able to check in with somebody. And um, it's a wonderful so that's organization. It's done so much for so many people. And if you, if you want to find out, go to actorsfund.org and you can find out all about what they do. I'm so disappointed to hear that your concerts are canceled because I love hearing you saying I loved you in Ragtime and so many other things that you've been in. You're just a phenomenal performer and an all around great human being. Stokes Mitchell. Oh. Thank you so so much, Rosie. That uh, that goes back to you. And you know, and just an interesting thing, if I can wax philosophical for a second, sure. uh, when I was doing ragtime, um, occasionally, and I don't know if you've had this kind of feeling as well, um, but occasionally in life, I I do things or I have the opportunity to be a part of something, and ragtime was one of those things that makes me feel. This is why this. I think this is one of the reasons I was put on the planet right yes, now. I understand that. And um, and now with what's going on now, this really feels not only why I'm on the planet, why the Actors Fund is on the planet here and now, and we've been for 138 years. It almost feels like that's been a rehearsal for this very important moment with so many people needing us right now. Yes. But also, it's why it's why we're all here right now. Um, we're all here. Look at how people are showing up. People have been so incredibly creative. Um, this show that you're doing, uh, Seth Rudetsky and James uh, uh, Wesley yes, have, been, they're doing great have stuff. been doing another show, Raising Money for the Actors Fund. Everybody's coming up with these incredible ways to support each other. And, um, and I think it's really great because what we have always done as performers is collaborate with each other. Yes. And we're now being able to show kind of the world Look what happens when we collaborate together, when right. we put our ideas together. Look yeah. what amazing things we can accomplish. Well, and in, in honor of uh, you and all the work that you guys do there, I'm going to donate $100,000 with my, uh, oh my God. thanks uh, for all that you've done and for all that you continue to do. And oh. we hope everyone at home is able to donate what they can. Any little bit helps, and whatever you can do in your budget, just do that. Thank you, Stokes, for Rosie. all Thank you. Before I go, I have to say to thank you so much for that donation. And Joe Benincasa has been keeping me abreast of the tally. You know what that means, what you just added? We wow. now have, have made in this uh, show alone, We, you, you and everybody that's been involved, now we have made more than $300,000. That's the way right. to go. At this very moment, and please Perfect. thank you, everybody who's donated. Please uh, keep keep giving what you can. We know everybody's having a hard time, but I cannot tell you how much we appreciate uh, every bit of help because we're we're going to make good use of of all of that money to help a lot of lot a lot of people. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Great to see you, and Love I'll you. see you when this is done. Thank you so much. Thanks Thank again for that you. wonderful Thank donation. You, Thank you, sweetheart. Oh, isn't he the greatest? That will be. We are coming up now with. Um, Another, oh, who is that? Audra McDonald and her very, very <laughs> husband, who I sat in front of just before this COVID thing. <laughs> Oh, it is. It's Stokes. Hey, you guys, I just, we just saw each other a, a day ago or a couple days ago. Uh, hey, you look great. Thank you. How's it going, you guys? You doing good? Yeah, we're, we're doing okay. You know, we've got... All of the kids home now. Wow. How many would that be? Four? Three. All together. Four. Yeah. The two Four, yeah. kids came home and we've got the we have the sixteen year old and then we have the three year old. And our little monster, yeah. 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 I sort of going through that too. We'll see you later, Stone. So I'm gonna talk. All right, see you guys. All right. Thank you. I have the teenagers, the twenty and the seventeen, and then the seven year old. So it's kind of hard to do both ages, right? It yeah. is. It really it really is. Um mind the gap. 
<laughs> right. <laughs> we're staying, you know, we're trying to stay sane and, and we're eating a lot. Yes, <laughs> that's, I think that's common. Yeah. yeah, I think the most bathing we've done has been in the past two days because we did the Seth thing and then <laughs> this. So that's the most bathing we've done, in, you know. In yeah, I was happy when they told me, you know, we're going to do this show. I'm like, maybe I'll shower. My hair has been clean. <laughs> Clean is good. That's right. I've been washing my hands, and the weirdest thing is, I must never have washed them enough because I'm like, mm, these hands smell terrific. <laughs> Every day, I'm like, look how nice I smell. <laughs> must be something wrong with me. Now, uh, you guys are in New York, or you're upstate, or uh, our house in Westchester. In Westchester. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you're going outside at least. You're getting a little bit of yeah. sun you can yeah, yeah. The, i mean and we have a dog so we have to we have to get him outside every day and that that helps um and we're, we know how fortunate we are um, yes i mean i think about all of our you know our colleagues and friends and family and even people we don't know that are you know in the city and um i know things are really really awful there right yeah. um I'm, yeah, I'm glad i'm not in the city either we we got out of there the, on a Wednesday and uh, came home here for the last two weeks. So yeah. everyone keeps saying, when are we going home? And I keep saying, I don't know. <laughs> you know? I mean, it's it's weird to be forced to live in the present. So forced to live so in the present as we are having to do yeah. in this time. You know, you, you really, all you know is, and a lot of people don't even have this. All we know is that we have food to eat. Yes. We have shelter. We have each other. And that's all we know. That's all we know. Yeah. And it's helpful to not have to look down the road too far and, and get crazy anxious about it. So in a way, it's helpful to yeah. stay in the moment. Stay, yeah, yeah. And and you guys are going to sing together or what are you going to do? I see that you got the guitar there. What What's our plan? Yeah, we're going to attempt a song that we worked up today. We worked up a few minutes ago. Well, All right. All right. If you want it. I want it. Well, the song it. is kind of good at this time, like we think. Well, the song is good, whether we do it well. <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> <clears throat> you ready? Yeah. Smile though your heart is aching Smile even though it's breaking When there are clouds in the sky You'll get by If you smile through your fear and sorrow Smile and maybe tomorrow You'll see the sun come smiling through for you. Light up your face with gladness. Hide every trace of sadness. Although a tear may be ever so near. That's the time you must keep on trying. Smile, what's the use of crying? You'll find that life is still worthwhile if you just. That's the time you must. Keep on trying. Smile, what's the use of crying? You'll find life is still worthwhile if you just smile. Audrey. Not only the most talented, the most beautiful couple on Broadway. No, uh, no you, you look at you, both of you. Just <laughs> thank you, you so much. Well, you are thank you. incredible. Thank you so much for doing this. Everything and your you're donation. Doing, and your donation. My gosh. I mean, yeah. Here's the thing: you have always you've you've talked the talk as far as supporting the Broadway community, but you have always walked the walk. Indeed. And and there is no one that has been a more fervent and ardent and 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 passionate supporter. Of, of of this community and and you are a part of our community so thank you for you're always here. being there for thank us. you guys thank you so much you're thank thrilled you. to know you both and to get to watch you anytime you do anything so thank you both thank, thank you, you so Rosie. much give to the actors fund thank you give so much the actors fund. all right we'll see you take care 
Okay, so yesterday was my birthday, 58 years old. Can you believe it? And two people I know found a way to get me flowers delivered. How do they do that in the middle of a lockdown? I do not know. But today is Andrew Lloyd Webber's birthday. And Andrew Lloyd Webber had a special message that he wanted to send to Stephen Sondheim because it's Stephen Sondheim's birthday too. So Andrew Lloyd Webber now with a message for Stephen Sondheim. Happy birthday, my friend. Um, I can't believe that you're 90. Um, no, my baby's 72. I've got such a long way to go to catch up. You are the greatest legend that's happened in my lifetime in the theatre. Um, I just send you my very heartfelt best wishes for a really great birthday. Happy birthday to you, <laughs> happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Andrew, happy birthday to you. <laughs> there they are, two legends, Andrew Lloyd Webber and Stephen Sondheim. I uh, saw them both recently at the um, funeral of uh, the memorial for Hal Prince and uh, it was such an amazing celebration of his life. And to see all of these legends in a room at a theater at one time was, was pretty stupendous. And uh, Hal Prince, what could we say about Hal Prince? Loved that man so much and all he has done for the world. So there you have it. Who do we have up next? Oh, the talented leading lady, an Irish lass, Miss Kelly O'Hara. Hello, Kelly. Can we hear Kelly? Oh, I don't hear Kelly. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Eric, can you help us here? Well, we'll get. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, Kelly, turn your, turn your. This is uh, uh, Rosie Tech Support here. Uh, <laughs> turn your uh, mic on if the if the mic mute button is on by chance or no. Rosie, is this how real television works? No, it does not work like this oh, at all. I got it. I wasn't okay. sure. Okay, hold on. Bottom yeah. screen. Talk. No. No. How about we go to the next one and then we'll come back to Kelly. We will. We'll come back to Kelly. Okay, we'll come back to Kelly O'Hara and her beautiful children. We'll be right back with you. And let's see who do we have up next uh, is a video package. Yes, we have some more people who wanted to be part of this, but we, we had to say no to some. So they made a little video uh, package like this. So take a look at this as we roll. Oh, hey, Broadway community. It's Jeremy Jordan here. I just wanted to thank you all for being so incredibly supportive of the Broadway community during these crazy times. We all can't wait to get back to Broadway to entertain everyone. Please donate to the Actors Fund. In the meantime, there are so many people out there that are struggling and we all know that this might be one of the last <laughs> sort of jobs to come back online after this whole thing has passed. So please donate and thank you so much. We love you, Rosie. Oh. Hi, Rosie, and everyone watching on Broadway.com. Well, these are crazy times, so crazy that I brought up my portable tap floor and strapped on my tap shoes. I want to send my love to everyone at the Actors Fund and everyone in this Broadway community that I love so much, and to everyone who has had shows that haven't gotten to open yet. I want you to know we can't wait for them to open and to see all your incredible performances. I know I'll be there. I love you, Rosie. Support the Actors Fund. Can please give to the Actors Fund. It is an amazing organization that does so much for our community. Please support them. Rosie, we love you. I love this community. Mwah. Hey, everybody. This is Andrew Reynolds. Rosie, thank you so much for bringing back your amazing show tonight and for bringing so much joy to so many people in their homes. If you're watching and enjoying the show as much as I am and you have the means, please consider donating to the Actors Fund so they can continue to do the amazing work they do. Uh, I'm talking to you from my apartment in New York City. And actually, this is a lot like how I used to pretend I would be on your show when it was on the air. I would just do like a, a fake interview by myself pretending to talk to you. So it feels very normal and also a dream come true. Sending so much love from New York. 
Hi Rosie, hi everybody. Annette Benning here. I am the Vice Chair of the Actors Fund and I just want to make a quick reminder. We've been helping out everybody in the entertainment community for over a hundred years, deservedly getting the highest rating possible for the use of our donated funds and the quality of the service that we provide. Our help is needed now more than ever. Don't forget, yes, we help actors, but it's everybody. All of our beloved crew members and our stage managers and our grips and our stagehands and our writers and directors and assistant directors and musicians and singers and dancers and makeup artists and hair designers and hairdressers. You get the point. It's everybody. And it's people all over this country. During this crisis, our professionals are being hit harder than ever and they really need us. As we do our part and we self-isolate, let's not forget we are together in strength and spirit. Please help out. Do what you can. Donate now. Let's do everything we can to stick together and help those in need. There you go, Annette Benning. Make America kind again. Don't we need that? Yes, we do. Um, so if you can, donate whatever you got. We'll take and we'll appreciate it so much. Now, who's coming up next? Well, she plays Tina Turner in the new musical Tina, and she is absolutely fantastic. She's simply the best. Prisoner of your love, entangled in your web. Hi, Adrian. Oh, no, we got the mic sound again. Can we hear, Adrian? <sighs> Eric, come on in, Eric. I, I'm here. I can do my best Tina Turner impression. Um, uh, in the meantime, Adrian, is your mic, are you on your iPhone? Are you on your iPhone? Are you on your iPhone? No, yes. Yes. Press the little um, mute, unmute button. You did that? You did that already? Oh, that's two in a row. That's not good. Oh, no. Uh, that's okay. You know what? I'm gonna, you go out. I'm going to text you, and, and we'll come back. Okay. And Judith now? Yes. Is Judith on? I hope she is. Let's see if she's here. Judith Light, my love. Uh, oh, there she is. Hi, honey. Oh boy, it must be a problem that we have because none of the mics are coming through now. It's That's it. but, you can, but you can hear me, right? I can hear you. I can't hear Judith Light or any of the guests. That's ne well. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna call Judith on the phone. Okay. And we're gonna get through to her that way. So Judith, answer your phone in a second. Okay. I sort of say okay. Yeah. Calling the. Here we go. Hi. 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 Look at that. Hi, Judith. Oh no! Is it not working? It's uh, I didn't call her, so it's only on your phone that it's her voice is coming through. I understand. Uh, <laughs> uh, here, wait. Here, you know Hi, what? Can you hear me? Yes, we, we can hear. Yes, we can. Um, uh, hey, Paul, why don't you kill Judith's video, and we'll go just through here. Ro, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you here. If you just stay there, Eric, I can do that. That sounds good. Okay. There, I hear you now, Judith. How are you? Hi, sweetheart. How are you? I'm doing good, thank you. It's having a fun night here. What? I'm having a fun night here. I clearly, I, I, can, I can tell. What have you been doing during this whole craziness? I know. Can you, uh, uh, how about Audra and Will? I know. Like, seriously, right? Right. Right. Now, can you see me or can you only hear me? I see you. I see you and I can hear you through Eric's phone somehow. Okay. All right. So so thank you for doing this. This is like um uh one of the most important things that you could ever do. You know, I mean, you know we we lived through a plague before. Yes, we have. And we were all together in that, and we're going to be all together in this too. I don't even know how to hold this phone. This is so ridiculous. You don't, you don't, <laughs> you, <laughs> Judith, you can, you can hang up the video and you can just talk to me on the phone here. Good. Oh, great. Um, so, I mean, you remember what we lived through, and you yeah, know, and you know what it was like. And this community, I mean, Ro, you know better than anybody. We, we in this community, you, you know, part of our job description is is insecurity. But 
when the whole industry shuts down, it's beyond anything that we've ever experienced before. So this is not like anything we've ever had before. So that's what makes this even more difficult, even more essential um, that people be uh, donating. And, you know, the fact that we get to talk to everybody like this is really important for us. We're, you know, this is survival. Yeah. We've got to make sure that people have food and a place to live. And, you know, in, in the current climate, we're, we're all up against it. But the fact that we're all together is what makes it so remarkably important. And thank you for doing this tonight. Well, it's my pleasure, honestly. Eric, I'm just asking you to come yeah. to you. And um, it's been thrilling and so fun and such a great way to raise money. Hear me now. I can. We, we, we can hear you. Uh, we can hear you, Judith. Thank you so much. We, we're having a little tech issue, but I just thank you so much for for calling in. Oh, ab absolutely. Um, Ro, I hope you had a wonderful birthday yesterday, sweetie. I love you. I love you too. And I'll see you when this is all over. I know you've been a philanthropist and you've been a, a fighter for rights for everyone since the very beginning of your career. And I always look up to you and you're a magical actress. Every Ryan Murphy thing you do is better than the next. So carry on with your bad self with a flight. I love you, sweetheart. Love you too. Hey, hey, Ro, hey, babe. We, uh, you know who we should put on now because they have to put their kids to bed? Who's that? And Sarah Jessica Parker. Okay, great. Can do we have make sure we have audio? Let's see. Are they here? SJP, are you there? Is it? No, they're not here. Okay, they're not here. That's okay. We can go to someone. We're going to play around with the list a bit, a little bit, and we're going to go to our friend Darren. Oh, Darren, are you available, Darren? Oh, I am. Oh man, I'm hello. I'm, I'm so here. Happy I can hear you. How are you? I'm so happy I can hear you. I'm so nervous right now. I've been watching this whole damn show. Well, don't uh, be nervous. It's only your friends. I know it's amazing. So many great people. I'm uh, I'm just so honored to be on the show, and I'm so glad we've been raising a whole lot of money. And uh, yeah, hi Rosie. Hi, <laughs> That's so rad. I'm so excited that you have a new Ryan Murphy show coming out. Yeah, it's coming out in a little bit. I kind of time has become kind of an elastic concept of of recently, so right. I can give you the, the days. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's a little show. You finished before all this happened. Oh yeah, we finished back in uh, December, January, and then I went right from that to American Buffalo, which is also kind of in limbo, as many of the other shows are. And so we'll see what's uh, we'll see we'll see. Just hope for the best, and in the meantime, take care of each other. You know. Exactly. Where are you now, honey? You L.A. or New York? I I hopped a flight back to uh, my house in Los Angeles to my beautiful wife and my beautiful uh, guitars and just a place to quarantine uh, happily and creatively. Um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty fortunate that, you know, there, there are things that I can still do. I mean, like just shy of us coming up with a vaccine, uh, you know, this is all that we can really do is try and offer our, our presence and our services in, in, in uh, service of hopefully raising money, which we've raised a, I can say a shit ton. This yes, isn't uh, censored, uh, a censored, censored medium. You can say a shit ton if you need to. Yeah. Uh, so we've raised a shit ton and I myself will also be donating. I'm gonna uh, donate about a thousand bucks to the okay. Actors Fund myself. Thank you so much. Um, as soon as we're done, we're done here. So uh, yeah, this has been such a great show. I can't really say anything that anybody else hasn't already. So All right. I'll just, you want to you know. sing for us? Yeah, I'd love to. I so you should know that I didn't know what to do. I wanted to do something specifically for this that I've never done before. I learned it minutes ago, and it's a difficult song because it's done so many different arrangements. So I just put this together now exclusive only for this moment, for the return of the Rosie show. Uh, and we heard from Patty earlier and we heard from Steven. Today was today is his 90th birthday, Steven Sondheim's 90th birthday. And it was the, supposed to be the opening of the revival of Company that I was very much looking forward to. Uh, so in honor of that, um, here's a tune from that. I'm so nervous because I've never done this in my life. Here we go. You can do it, Darren. All right. Someone to hold you too close Someone to hurt you too deep Someone to sit in your chair And ruin your sleep And make you aware of being alive Someone to need you too 
much Someone to know you too well Someone to pull you up short And put you through hell uh, push through hell And give you support For being alive Being alive Someone to crown you with love Someone to force you to care Someone to make you come through Who'll always be there As frightened as you Of being alive Being alive Being alive Being alive Someone whose feelings you spare Someone who like it or not Wants you to share A little, a lot Of being alive Make me alive Make me confused Walk me with grace Let me be Schwitzing over here, man. Don't be schwitzing. Everybody loves to hear you sing. It's a really gorgeous <laughs> face. So, there you so go. Sure Exclusive you one thing only. Exclusive one time only just for Rosie O'Donnell. That's well, thank you for doing Thank you so much. Great to see you, and I look forward to looking Likewise. at your new show. So let me Appreciate know. That. All right. Thank you again, Rosie. Thanks for being here, Darren. Darren, Chris, so adorable. From Glee, boom, blew up all over the place. That Gianni Versace show he did with Judith Light. Oh, my God, Judith. Judith Light is the most incredible actress, and he was fantastic. The whole thing was stupendous. Another Ryan Murphy production. Hey, look who it is. The Lunt Fontaines, Matthew Broderick, and Sarah Jessica Parker. Hi, you guys. Hi, Rosie. Hello. How are you? We're all right. We're all right. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday, Matthew. Yeah, it's nice to get to say that again to you in sort of in person in a way. Yes. <laughs> So how have you been uh, dealing with all the stay at home stuff? You've been binging. What have you been doing? We haven't, we haven't been binging uh, as much, I guess, as we hear tell. Um, <laughs> we've been, uh, we've, been uh, we've been watching Columbo at night. We've been playing a lot of games, a lot of cooking, a lot of laundry, um, binging on laundry. Yeah, that's good. You're not like going through all the HBO movies and watching them all in a row like I am. <laughs> no. I, I watched a bunch of The Crowns. Yeah, that's good. The Crown. Right. Wonderful. Yeah. The Outsider is pretty good. A little scary, but pretty good. Which one? The Outsider on HBO. Oh, that's oh, one of those new shows. I, yes. I don't know. Yeah, it's a Stephen King, which I normally am too afraid of. Oh, about. yes, I've heard of that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, well, I haven't seen the um, finale of Sopranos yet, so I'm a little behind. So don't tell me what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some catching up to do. That's a lot behind. How are the girls doing? Everybody's really well. We feel very fortunate. James Wilkie's well. The girls are well. And everybody, um, you know, is, uh, is um, well, they're healthy and mentally healthy and trying to wrap their heads around um, this 
particular current state we're all living in. But um, more importantly, we're really grateful for what you're doing. And um, Matthew and I both have friends and loved ones and colleagues who have been on the receiving end of the Actors Fund great work for many, 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 many years, decades. And of course you're spearheading tonight's efforts to support them. Um, and we're really grateful for that. And we know that so many of our colleagues and friends are very scared right now and worried. It's a confounding, really unthinkable time. And um, so we're, we're so grateful and we will continue this after today, but for tonight, thank you so, so much. Well, it's my pleasure, honestly. I was walking on Broadway back when you could and I saw the theater that you guys were gonna open in, Plaza Suite. I took a picture, but look, but with my Matthew birthday boy, <laughs> you and me. Um, and the, you got to do it though, out of town. Didn't you go to Boston? Yeah, we did we three did. weeks in Boston. Yeah, yeah, at the Colonial Theater, it was fantastic. Um, we were set to do uh, an invited our invited dress before our first preview, um, and like so many, you know, it didn't happen. But we um, we are optimistic about um, the opportunity to do it in the future when it's safe to gather again. Right. On the Rialto, and um, we want so much to be able. We know people made plans for so long to come, and we were so flattered and excited that people were enthusiastic. Um, but in the meantime, as we wait for those better days, we will do our best to take care of our colleagues and um, and everybody who is feeling um, so hurt by you know, all of them. So scared, so uncertain what's gonna happen. It's yeah. really hard to explain to a seven-year-old. How old are the girls now? T 10. The girls are 10. 10. Wow, well, older than mine, yeah. And so, 17. And how, wait, how old are yours? Wait. Seven is the baby. And are they having mental breakdowns yet or? Yeah, well, well what happened was my little seven-year-old got the Thin Mints out of the freezer and <laughs> hid underneath the chair and ate her brothers, her 20-year-old brothers, Thin Mints. And who would, that was not, it was a big problem here in Saddle River, New Jersey. I can tell you that. So I, I called my friend Jackie, who I knew would have some, and she came and left some on our porch. And then I like ran in like a beggar, please, please take my Thin Mints, Blake. I don't want your Thin Mints. You know, it was like a big drama. Listen, if you need Thin Mints, my girls are Girl Scouts and their online digital orders are still <laughs> available. Well, I will Google that as soon as we get done with this because we know. It's an emergency Thin Mints. Let me know. We're happy to um, sort that all out for you. Now, what was the last show you guys saw before it went dark? Or were you not really doing that because you were in rehearsal? We were in pre. We were in tech every day, so we didn't. Matthew saw a show at the I Irish did. Rep and at BAM. You saw yes. two shows. Yes, I saw um, Medea. Oh wow, which was great. At, at uh, I mean, great. You know, if you like, yeah. you know, your kids, but I mean, it was a great. Not a happy story, but yeah, it's not the happiest. Yeah, you know. And you saw a play at the Irish Rep. I saw I played the Irish rep, which was excellent too. So I saw two good things and then. Uh, he was trying to get it all in, you know, like you do, right? You so my, my last nights before I knew we were gonna be working at night. So. Right. Cause right. the uh, Broadway closed the, the very day that our first preview was. Mm. I know that's not the worst part of all this, but it was. No, bad. but it's hard not to be disappointed. I gotta say, you put in so much work when you do a show like that. Yeah. I stand as people do too so yeah. well you guys i know that um you've been a part of this broadway community since the very beginning sarah jessica you were just a baby up there doing what you do and uh everybody loves you here including me and thank you for uh, being on this actor spot so much. You keep us posted in other ways that we can be helpful and thank you to everybody tonight who's giving and being so generous we are enormously appreciative sincerely sincerely and rosie thanks a million thank you honey sarah jessica parker matthew broderick thanks for being here all right so now it is what time is it it is almost nine o'clock two hours i told eric when we booked this I, when he booked it actually i said to him my friend this is going to be longer than the oscars it's just going to be me talking in my garage for hours and hours. But you know what, for me, it's fun because I get all these people that I love and admire as talented people gonna perform for us. 
And uh, I think Adrian Warren, is she back or is it Kelly O'Hara first? I think Kelly first. We got her uh, video. Hey. Hi, we got your audio working. How are yes. you? We, we pushed the, the right, you know, we did this the other night with Seth and it worked. I'm not sure what happened, but here we are. My now, kids are What are your names and ages? I'm Owen and I'm 10. I'm Charlotte and I'm six. Hi, you guys. How's it going for you? Good. Hi, Rosie. Hi. You having fun staying home with mom? Yep. Uh, good time. <laughs> and daddy, of course. Yes. I don't know daddy, but hi, daddy. Greg Naughton. He's right. He's my uh, my stage manager here. Well, um, we're yeah. gonna we're gonna send them to bed. But uh, we were just saying hi, and and this is what this whole thing is about for me. Yes, is, is being with these guys, and I have to say, there's a tiny bit of, of me that never wants it to end, but the rest of it, I want it to end for all of us. So yeah, and I never really, really appreciated how great their teachers are until you have them all day, every day, right? Exactly, like someone said, teachers should make a million dollars, right? A day, pretty much. Yeah. So how are you, Kelly? How's it going? We're good. We're good. We're just, um, you know, we are homeschooling and cooking and going on bike rides and walks and trying to do the best we can and trying to make it um, interesting for them. You know, nothing like this has ever happened in any of our lifetimes. Uh, it's hard to even imagine anything like this. You exactly. know, these movies in the 80s that we all watched, it was like pandemic and all these movies, you thought this will never happen and here we are. Yeah, and grocery shelves emptying out and it does something to your psyche a little bit. I mean, I we are, we are privileged, you know, I do worry about the future because I do work in front of crowds and that means there is no work right now. Um, that's why the Actors Fund is so important right now for, for all of our types who need that, you know? Yes, for sure. You're such a prof uh, phenomenal performer. You really are. Thank I mean, you. seeing you um, on stage, is you just, you're one of those people like Kristen Chenoweth where you can't take your eyes off you. <laughs> when you're, you know, other people are like, you know, mulling about and you're not even singing and you find yourself staring at you during all of the performances I've seen you do. Well, thank you. You know, I've been a huge fan of this. Is, this is a, a mutual love affair then, because when I came here, you know, watching your show, watching you champion this community every single day, um, I, it's what dreams were made of. You know, we were, all, we were all so happy that you championed us and that you were making our community uh, open to the world and, um, you know, on Broadway. And then you were part of it as such a great performer. So thank you. I think, I think we're really grateful to you tonight, just like we were back then. Well, you know, for me, I would go see Broadway shows with my mom when I was little. And I remember thinking, God, if only one day I could do this, you know, cause I would see the actors come out of the stage door all sweaty. And I think this is where you go. If you want to do this, where Hollywood was such a vague illusionary place, like, how do you get there? How do you get to the place where you do it? I knew where you did it, you know? Right. And yeah, going to see all the shows. Yes. Yeah. Where did you grow up? Oklahoma. No kidding. And how did you make your way to New York? You know, I didn't come to New York until I was 21 years old for the first time. Uh, I'd never seen a Broadway show. I didn't even really see live shows. I saw movie musicals. Um, I have no, I can't tell you. All I know is that I was different from everybody and I loved it and I didn't know why and I just knew I wanted to do it. And were your parents supportive? Yes, they were, unbelievably so because they didn't really know anything about it and they let me get on a plane with no job and no apartment and I did and and um, you know, they now I, I think about that with my own kids. What would I say to them if they said, you know, I'm gonna move, you know, all the way across the country and do something crazy? Right. So I have to let them. <laughs> You have to let them like your parents let you. Well, are you going to sing for us now? Yeah, you know, you've been talking a lot about how it's Stephen Sondheim's birthday. And it's so funny. I suggested a song, which was Smile. Right. <laughs> and three, two other people have sung it tonight. And then I came back and I said, wait a second. It's Sondheim's 90th birthday. And this is a song I used to sing all the time that he wrote. Um, I used to sing it with my teacher, Florence Birdwell, in mind. But uh, tonight I'm going to sing it for him. But also the words seems so apropos, my music director and pianist, Dan Lipton, who plays on this track, he said, this is the song for tonight. So I hope you agree, it's, it's Take Me to the World. Okay, excellent. Take it away, Kelly O'Hara. Thanks. Let me see the world with clouds. Take me to the world. Out where I can push through crowds, take me to the world. A world that smiles with.
safe streets instead of aisles where I can walk for miles with you. Take me to the world that's real. Show me how it's done. Teach me how to laugh, to feel. Move me to the sun. Just hold my hand whenever we arrive. Take me to the world where I can be alive. See the world that smiles. Take me to the world. Somewhere I can walk for miles. Take me to the world with all around things growing in the ground. Where birds that We shall see the world come true. We shall have the world. And I won't be afraid with you. We shall have the world. I'll hold your hand and know I'm not alone. So beautiful, Kelly. Thank you. Thank you. I so wish I could sing. When I hear you guys sing, I'm like, you know, I would give anything to be able to sing, even one night, you know, like a magic wish from a fairy godmother. Hey, you sing, you sing, and you bring joy, and that's what my singing is about. And thank you for doing this. Somebody just Instagrammed me that they just gave $1,500 to the Actors Fund. Wow. Thank you for $100,000, Rosie. Thank you. Everybody donate, please. This is at any level, at any level. Every, every dollar counts. Thank you, Kelly, and continued success to you. Your kids are beautiful. Thanks, Rosie. And say hi to your hubby. I don't know. I will. Great. Bye-bye. Okay, now, we believe that we have Adrian Warren in the bathtub with her with her with her Adrian Warren. Starring in Tina Turner on Broadway. Hi, honey. Oh, dear gosh. It's not working again. What the beep? All right, Eric, what shall we do? We're, I, I don't know, but Adrian Ward is incredible. This, I is, know. this is what we have to do. People, they, <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Ani, I'll text you and I'll, I'll call you in a second and I'll try to work it out, but we should go to our friend Jeremy next. Okay, we're going we're gonna to get you, Adrian. Don't you get out of that tub. Put more hot water in. Okay, Jeremy Pope, are you here and does your video work? What's up? Ah, uh, Jeremy, <laughs> you did it. How are you? Good. How are you doing, Rosie? I'm really good. Good to see you. You've good been working you. a lot, haven't you? We've been moving. We've been moving. Yeah. Yeah. What, you, what have you been doing since you've been stuck inside? <laughs> um, well, I've been cooking. I've been cleaning, um, writing, reading, um, peeking outside because I'm a little scared to go out. I feel like yeah, me too. Uh, I call her Coco Rona. Uh, I feel like she's outside waiting to just hit me in my face. So I'm just taking it easy. Um, it, it's, but it's been good. It's been special. I've been able to take the time to reflect. And, um, you know, that's, that's always special and nice to have. How about you? How's it hanging? Same thing. I'm afraid to go out. I haven't really been out. I've been in my backyard. That's about it. And uh, my son's working at the grocery store every day. So he comes home and sort of gets 
his clothes, you know, at, off his clothes and washes and gets in the shower. And I'm a little bit afraid of him being there every day, but yeah. you know, he really wants to help and he's helping and I'm very proud of him. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now you had quite a, an introduction to Broadway. Was Were you doing two shows at once at the, was that the first time you ever did Broadway? Was doing two at once? It was, yes. Um, so how did that come about? I so mean, we were, we did, yeah, we did Choir Boy and we did um, Ain't Too Proud, Ain't Too Proud right. presentations at the same time. Um, it was just uh, a blessing, but yeah, I was in the middle of Ain't Too Proud. We were kind of gearing up to come to Broadway. We were doing our tour, waiting for our Broadway house to open. And um, I got word that Choir Boy was going to come and do a limited run at MTC. Um, so I originally thought I was going to have to choose between, you know, one or the other, because there's no way that you can do two shows at once. But I'm so grateful to um, everyone at MTC and our my producers at Ain't Too Proud. They like sat and looked at a schedule and it was kind of only a two week, it was off by two weeks. So they made it work. So that, um, that meant I was in rehearsals for Ain't Too Proud during the day and then I'd rush over to um, Samuel J. Friedman to do Choir Boy. Wow. Yeah. So and I And both casts supposed to work together to arrange that for you and both casts supporting you at the same time. That must they have were. Been yeah, I mean honestly, I, I just have to thank both both of my cast, my boys at Ain't Too Proud. Um really my my whole cast at Ain't Too Proud Presentation and my boys at Choir Boy. Um just because they were making sure I was eating, they were, you know, just kind of checking in on me and making sure I was good. I think the one thing that was really special about me joining the Broadway community is how much love I received. Right. Um, you know, I think early on, I wondered if there was room and space for me um, because I wasn't, I, you know, I, I didn't know, there weren't shows at the time that I saw myself, that I saw fit. Um, right. But here were these two amazing projects for me to, part, to be a part of. And the community was just so loving from my cast of people, um, from the producers down to the ushers that worked at the theater. I remember they would be the ones to kind of make sure that my food on Seamless got to the theater okay and make right. sure it was good. And that was just so special and it made it so so much easier. Um, and I was able to kind of relax and enjoy the ride that it was. Um, so I just have to thank you know so many of those people for really looking out for me and making my Broadway debuts kind of um, ones, ones that I will never forget. <laughs> Right. Well, the Actors Fund is a, a wonderful organization that helps so many actors. And I know you've probably done fundraisers for them and yes. tell everybody, remind them to uh, donate tonight. Yes, it's so important. It's so important. I think, you know, I'm still kind of in the group thread with my Into Crowd cast, um, you know, and so many shows, including them, are just, you know, are at a, at a standstill, at a pause right now and wondering what that recovery looks like. Um, and, you know, my heart hurts, you know, thinking that some of these shows won't be able to return and we won't be able to experience the art that people are creating. Um, so I'm so grateful to have the Actors Fund that we can donate to that, you know, would be such a huge resource for that. Um, I'm grateful for your show today, you know, the opportunity for all these artists to come and sing and do their thing. And it's so uplifting and, you know, um, it's just very special. So thank you, Rosie, for all that you Thank you, honey, for being a part of it. And it's really nice to get to meet you on here. Absolutely. All right. Take care of yourself. Bye. Okay. He's so adorable, isn't he? Absolutely cute. You know who's next? My buddy, Nate Burkus. Let's hope his mic works. Nate Burkus, are you there? I'm here. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? Hey, Rosie. How are you? I'm doing well. Are you doing okay? You know what? Listen, I mean, I'm barely bathed. I've got two kids under five. You know, I have a husband who has told me exactly what my job is every five minutes in the house. So I'm good. You're good. You're getting We're through it. In. We're great. Yeah. To see her folks. How old are the babies? Um, Oscar. Well, actually our daughter, um, another Aries woman turns uh, five tomorrow. Wow. And our son Oscar turns two um, on the 26th on Thursday. And are you done with two? Are you good with two? You think you're done? I'm, I'm so, I'm, I've never been more done with anything in my entire life. So great. <laughs> I'd say my, Jeremiah, my husband, you know, says, should we go for number three? I'm like, babe, I'm going to be in a basement yeah. wearing virtual reality glasses, thinking I'm skiing on our daughter's yeah. wedding day. I feel like I'm 90 years old. This is enough. I have two healthy kids, knock on wood. And that's all that matters right now. So. Right. I understand that. 
I understand it a lot. So you've been still doing all of your design stuff, huh? So I, I, I loathe DIY and I found myself climbing the walls and now I'm doing bad DIY for no one's enjoyment yeah. on Instagram. I'm going to look that up. That's something I'd like it's to see. horrible. Cover that's your what, eyes. It's be horrible. crafty. You know, that's what you got to do during times like this. Be crafty. We, we, you know, we be crafty. We're like painting seashells. We're making necklaces. We're, we're, you know, moving things around the house. But um, it is really interesting because uh, of my friends and, you know, everybody's sort of doing these virtual dinner parties and virtual cocktails. And we're part of that, too. But um, I've never I've always wished for this time with my family, you know, in filming and producing and designing and creating product and all the stuff that I do and Jeremiah does. And we've always said, wouldn't it be so amazing just to have nothing to do and be with our family? So we're trying to stay on that side of everything because there are moments that we just simply wouldn't have had and we're never going to get this time back. And, you know, we're, we're safe. We're not leaving the house. I believe in helping to protect all the healthcare workers who are on the front line. Um, I have a lot of Italian friends who I'm in touch with. They do tell us point blank, you're two weeks behind us. You have no idea what you're heading into. The best thing you can do is isolate. And as Dr. Oz said earlier today, protect the borders of your home. And so we're taking all that advice really seriously, but man, having the two of them in the bathtub together, the walls were soaking wet. I was soaking wet. It's a blast. I mean, you know, when am I, yeah. when, am, when do I get to do that? I get to do that right now. Right. I get it. I understand. Thank you so much, Nate, for helping us, for being here. I appreciate it. So I made a donation. I want everybody else to make a donation. Um, I think it's amazing what you're doing, Rosie. Thank you for in inviting me. And Eric Bergen, thank you for asking me to be a part of this as well. Thank you, sweetheart. I'll see you soon. Take care. And right. Give my love to Jeremy. Okay, now we got it all together. Is Adrian Warren ready yet? That's my question. Who's up next? Kristen Shannon. Adrian. I'm back. Hi, I can hear you. I haven't thought that for such a long time. All my bubbles are gone. Oh, God. No. But you know, we only want in a bathtub, so thank you for that. How are you? <laughs> happy place this is the place i spend a lot of time in when i'm doing tina the musical soaking these muscles so decided to bring you guys up with me to my house fantastic in that show thank um, you I took my 20 year old son to see it and he was crying at the end oh yay i mean yeah. he was trying to let me know that he was crying but he was crying yes i love that he was yeah, you, were. you were something else you really are what shows have you done before this I did Shuffle Along um, with uh, George C. Wolf, Savion Glover, and then Bring It On the Musical, that was my Broadway debut, um, which I remember your Rosie Theater kids, they came to see Bring It On the Musical, and I remember that was the first time I was introduced to your program, and it's such an incredible program. Oh, thank you very much. We had a lot of fun back in the day. Here uh, comes your no. son to yell at me about saying that. <laughs> Is that you, Blakey? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> you, have him come say hi. But um, the Tina show, you were a big fan of hers before. How did you get so perfect of a, you, you become her. It's yeah. really unbelievable. Thank you. My parents were huge fans of hers growing up as a kid. So we always played her music in my household. Wow. And even growing up, I would try to be her and I would wear my mom's old nylon stockings and rock around in her old pumps trying to be Tina Turner. And um, yeah, I've always, always, always loved her. I've been a big fan. Excellent. Well, uh, you're not going to sing in the tub, are you? I am going to sing in the tub. Oh, I love it. A song. Oh, come on. What Let's do sing? this. What are you singing? First of all, I want to thank you for all the help you've given to my charity, Rosie's Theater Kids. You've done so much and you've helped so many. And thank you for being a big supporter of that. And of gonna, what are you going to sing now? Something from the musical? I'm going to sing something from Tina for, for all of you guys. Give you a bit of happiness and joy in your day today. All right. I hope you're not freezing and too pruney. No, I'm good. good. All my mama are gone, but we're doing it. Let's go. All right, baby. Hit it. <laughs> I call you when I need you. My heart's on fire. 
You come to me, come to me wild and wild. Mm, you come to me. Give me everything I need. You give me a lifetime of promises and a world of dreams. You speak a language of a like you know what it means. Ooh, but it can't be wrong. Take my heart and make it stronger, babe. You're simply the best. Better than all the rest. Better than anyone. Anyone I've ever met, I'm stuck on your heart, and I hang on every word you say. Tell us why. Maybe I would rather than be dead. Oh, when your heart is in the start of every night, every day. In your eyes, I get lost, I get washed away. Just as long as I'm here in your arms, I can't be in no better place. You're simply the best. If you help, put your hands together. Better than all the rest. Better than anyone. Anyone I've ever met, I'm stuck on your heart. And I hang on every word you say. Tell us about it. No, no, no. Baby, I would have rather be dead. Ooh, you suddenly leave me, I start losing control. You're walking away with my heart and my soul. I can feel you weeping when I'm alone. Oh, baby, don't let go. got so many people still to go. Who's next? Kristen Chenoweth. Chen oh, Cheno. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you, honey? Well, I'm bedazzling. How are you? Good for you. You need to do something with the downtime, don't you? We have to. Actually, I have a bling lady and she made this. So fun. I mean, that's what's going on. My boyfriend and my dog were making TikToks. Can I just say, have Thunder say hi? Josh, sure. Josh, I'm Rosie. Yeah. Josh. Josh. Hello, Josh. Hey. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet y'all. Oh, y'all. Look at that. Is that in Oklahoma, I hear? It's in Arkansas, my friend. Arkansas. How about that? I know. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet y'all. This is my sister. <laughs> I know. I love you, bro. You had a new boyfriend. 
we haven't chatted in a second. I know, I know. I should have called. I'm sorry. No, I should have called you. It was your birthday yesterday. I know. Me and Sondheim right together. <laughs> Two geniuses. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> what have you been doing? Have you been ordering in? Have you been cooking? What have you been doing? Okay. This is what I've been doing. And I'm not paid yes. by them. I, I I've been paid by them. Yeah. Um, I've been learning music. Yeah. I've been... My boyfriend's a guitarist. I've been just like what everybody's doing. I'm trying to get creative and doing what you're doing. I'm trying to stay positive. Stay positive. That's what you have to do, right? You have to. We you have, have to. to. What's your other choice? Cross Blake. He is adorable. He's cutie. He loves you. He thinks you're the greatest. I love him too. Yeah. He's working at the grocery store. Very proud of him. I, I heard that, and he's being safe, I'm sure. Yes, he's being safe. But, you know, it's a little nerve-wracking for the mom, all the people oh, coming in. But I'm telling you, the thing that gets me the most is the picture of the old people at the supermarkets that are empty. I can't see one more of those. That's It's like it, it gets my heart. It just I can't even look at it. Because our natural inclination is to go to try to help them. Yes. And so we're being told, actually, don't do your nat natural. Right. right. What's confusing. Remember 9-11, how we could go donate, give blood. We could meet up. So yeah. we're asked to do the opposite, which is why it's such a weird thing with our minds. Totally. I, totally. I, get, it. I get it. How's mom and dad? Okay. By the way, she sends her love. Both of them send their love. They love you so much. They miss you, and um, they're proud of you. Oh, I love them. I pretend they're my parents. Of hope they, are your, they are your parents. They are. Good. I'll take it. All right, what are you going to sing for us, Jenna? Okay, I'm going to do a throwback from 1999 on the Rosie O'Donnell Show, October 1st, 1999. This is for you, kid. Take it. There's a boy who works at Starbucks who is very inspirational. He is very inspirational because of many things. I come in at 8-11 and he smiles and says, how are you? When he smiles and says, how are you? I could swear my heart grows wings. So today at 8-11, I decided I should meet him. I decided I should meet him in a proper formal way so today at 8 11 when he smiled and said how are you i said fine and my name's Kristen." and he softly answered hey and i said my name is Kristen, and thank you for the extra phone and he said his name was taylor which provides the inspiration for this poem. Taylor, the latte boy, bring me java, bring me joy. Oh, Taylor, the latte boy, I love him, I love him, I love him. So I'd like to get my nerve up to recite my poem musical. He would like the fact it's musical because he plays guitar. So today at 8-11, Taylor told me he was playing in a band down in the village in the basement of a bar. And I saw him flip the lever to prepare my double latte. But for me, he made it triple and he didn't think I knew. <laughs> but I saw him flip the lever and for me he made it triple and I knew that triple latte meant that Taylor loved me too. I said what time are you playing and thank you for the extra skin. He said keep the 355 because this triple latte was on him. Oh my Who'd have thought the love could be so 
Cheno. I love you, Cheno. I love you very much. Here's my little Ziggy for Thunder. Here's my little Ziggy. Please. Oh my gosh, I haven't even seen that baby. Yeah, he's about uh, two years old now. He was uh, born on Christmas Day. Of course. There you he have, is. You have good kiddos, furries and humans. That's right. I do. Oh, I'm very lucky. I love you. And please, everybody, continue to donate to actorsfund.org slash Rosie. Um, this is our queen, and we are here to stay until everybody is okay and safe. We love you. I, I love, love you. you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, Blake. Bye. Oh, isn't she adorable? I just love Kristen Chenoweth. Every time I saw her the first time in Charlie Brown, and I like had her on the show the next day, I'm like, you're going to win the Tony. And she did, because she's too adorable, cute, and perfect. That's what I think. Hey, guess what? My husband is here. Harvey Firestein. Hi, everybody. It's my wife. Hello, darling. How are you doing, sweetie? I'm good. I was going to sing that song that Kristen just sang. Were you? Stay on the oh, show. Yeah. Mary Mitchell Campbell and I have been rehearsing it for months. <laughs> do you know, do you know that Kristen and I sang Do You Love Me years before you and I did? Really? Where did you do that? We were doing a concert with the Seattle Gay Men's Chorus in Seattle. Right. And, um, and, and we sang Do You Love Me? And she sang Tevya and I sang Golda. That is too funny. Is that too funny? How are you? Do I'm you good. Of me. Do I what? I miss you, honey. You're having a good time there. I'm looking at the stuff at the schmutz of dick on the floor there, and I'm saying, I'm so glad I vacuumed my craft room today. I know. It's that's all paint on the floor. It doesn't come up. Oh, I was yeah, I've been I've been quilting and we're trying to make masks. You know, the, but Good. you know what? What? We made the masks, and, and then I told a friend of mine who's an EMT that we made the masks, and he said, oh, those are, you know, they're just regular fat. That's no good. Oh. So then we had an idea to use air filters. Well, that's um, you know, like, uh, so, so we're trying that. So I'm so sure you knew yeah. it, was, it was online. Matt will put up the link of how to make them, but the kind that they need, I'm not really sure, but. Yeah, uh, that has something to do. I mean, it has to do with ma microns and macron. You know, stuff we don't know. Not, we don't know that. I do not really, but I do. I could sew it up. Yeah, I could sew, and I could make. Have, have you been cooking at home? I know you love to cook. I've been cooking. I've been quilting. I've been. I've been uh, um, writing. Uh, I had a bunch of writing to do that needed to get done because because we will be back. We, we will write again. Yeah, it has happened before and we will be back and so we gotta have shows to go as soon as we get back right yes exactly that's right so, so so yeah so just staying there and, and and taking care you can hear the dogs downstairs um uh, charlie had his first birthday on on friday he's my liam burger oh. 130 pounds not even a year old oh, yeah. that's a big dog honey gonna be big dog yeah. so yeah we stay busy. We stay busy. We stay. I'm supposed to be doing. Um, I was supposed to be in rehearsal to do uh, the Kennedy Center. We were doing Bye Bye Birdie, and I was playing Mrs. Uh, Pete Peterson. Oh, how fantastic! I would have loved to see that. Well, it ain't gonna happen now. But, we'll gonna happen. but we never know. We'll have hope that these shows are gonna come back. We never yeah. know. Exactly. So, but we'll see. But I'm recording my show Bella for uh, Audible, so that'll right. be coming. Should we ever get back to production again? Right. So that'll be audible. And we'll see. And then we got a lot of election work to do. We sure yeah. do. We got a lot of work with that coming up. Let's, uh, yeah. let's all just know we deserve a leader who tells the truth. There we exactly. go. But well, I love it, Harvey. We got a million people standing right. by waiting. Go, go, go. Thank you, I love you. I and, love you. Uh, and, and I'll see you soon. All right, honey, take care of yourself. Bye-bye, sweetheart. I love him. We were in Fiddler on the Roof together. I played his wife, Golda. Because when you think of traditional Yiddish theater, you think of Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> what? Okay, um, who's next? Let's see. Who's, oh, David and Kat, how are you? Hey, guys. Happy birthday to you. Oh. 
Happy birthday, birthday dear Rosie. Rosie. And Stephen. And Andrew. Lloyd Weber. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to all of you. Why, thank you so much. Our birthday in quarantine. How are you? How are you both doing? We're hanging in like the rest of the world and the country. We're just trying to be positive and, you know, do our best. Yeah, I love your, I love your little uh, performances that you do. Thanks. Yeah, we've been having fun with our live Instagrams. The little Cat and Dave show Cat at 530 show. every night. And yes, Saturday. I've been watching. I love it. Tune wow. in tomorrow. We'll be there. All right. Uh, excellent. And you're going to perform for us now, are you not? We're going to sing sure a song are. for you. What are you going to sing? Well, uh, we we wanted to do something that was connected to both of us. Well, but actually, this is not connected to me at all. I just love the song. Um, but he produced this song, and it's from my favorite artist that this guy discovered here. So shall we do it? It's called Because You Loved Me. Oh, I love this song. Catherine McPhee, David Foster, take it away. Mostly Catherine McPhee. <laughs> for all those times you stood by me, for all the truth that you made me see, for all the joy you brought to my life, for all the wrongs that you made right, for every dream make come true for all the love I found in you. I'll be forever grateful, baby. You're the one who held me up, never let me fall. You're the one who saw it through, through it all. You were my strength when I was You were my And you guys are so much in love. It's great to see. Oh, we can't hear anymore, but um Oh no. Uh, you can't hear well, me? You can hear us. Yes, I can. You can hear us. We can Thank hear you. you. Thank you so much. Donate to Actors Fund. We're both donating ourselves a thousand dollars each from our own bank accounts. <laughs> For your hundred thousand. Thank you so much. Yeah. That was huge. And you're killing it. All right. Thank you. I don't know why we can't hear you, but we can't hear you, but okay. All right, Eric. Can you guys hear me? Can Eric can everybody hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear you. We can hear you fully. Okay, perfect. I thought you were singing that last song. You sounded beautiful. I'm going away now. Okay, thank you, Eric. Bye. Um, next, my buddy from Greece on Broadway all those years ago, Mr. <laughs> Billy Porter. How are you, sweetheart? Hello, how are you? I'm so happy to get to talk to you. I haven't really talked to you since your meteoric rise to fame. <laughs> I have a surprise for you. What do you have? See, I was on your show. I know how much you meant. This what meant. There she is, uh, the one and only, my queen. Well, you, gotta, you know, it's like we got to get through somehow. That's right. I'm watching, we're watching the concerts. I'm writing. 
hanging out with my husband. Yeah. I haven't had a chance to see in a year. <laughs> right. You've been kind of busy, Mr. Porter. Yes, I have. And yes, how does I it have. feel, Billy? You were for so many years, you had this talent. It's not a new thing. For so many years, there you were. You were on my show how many times? Seven. Seven times. Maybe eight. eight. I'm not sure. Maybe I was eight. Like, I always say I was I was your bet Midler um to Johnny Carson. That's right. You totally were. And you were <laughs> always you always had this talent, this style, this panache, but boom, here you are. I know. Overnight sensation, right? Of 30 years in the world, <laughs> right? But how does it feel? Are you able to take it in or is it still kind of trippy for you? It's really, you know, it's really trippy. Um, I am really humbled by the fact that, you know, I'm a part of a generation that... Um, which you are which you are a part of too who led the charge in sort of what it means to be lgbtq queer gay whatever we call it in this industry yeah. and be that way out loud and proud and you know we're the first to do it um it's not often that the people who come first also have the opportunity to walk through the doors that they've kicked down. It's not lost on me that I am reaping the benefits in this way. Um, it's such a gift. It's such a blessing. I'm so grateful that I lived long enough to see this day. Yes. You know, right. because I came onto the scene, speaking of the Actors Fund, I came onto the scene, you know, in 91 in the original cast of Miss Saigon. And, you know, we went through, we were, on the front lines, fighting for our lives. You know, it was the beginning of Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS. The Actors Fund obviously had been been around for hundreds of at least a hundred years at this point. Um, but you, we've been speaking about this theme of community. Mm. How Broadway is this community, and I yes. learned um, in my youth what it means and what it takes to come together and stand as one. Right. And make a change and make a difference. And I really, you know, this time has just been such a gift because the world is in reset. The world is in reset. Yeah. And we can listen or not. Mm -hmm. But this is the... <laughs> Yeah, this is the time to listen, y'all. This is it. This is the time to listen. We got to love each other. You know, we got to take care of each other. Nobody gets through this life alone on their own without help. It doesn't work that way. Right. You know, I am a beneficiary of the Actors Fund. You know, I had a long time where I wasn't working. Right. I didn't have no money, bankruptcy, no place to live. The Actors Fund took care of me. And I'm proud to say it out loud. Mm -hmm. I'm not embarrassed about that. Right. You know, it's like some people get embarrassed or it's like, no, I want everybody to know that everybody, anybody can fall on hard times. Yes. You know, we're seeing what's going on now. It's like, we're all just like one, two, maybe three paychecks away from bankruptcy. Yeah. Like it's crazy. And so it's such, a, it's been such a, this time for me has been such a gift. You know, my mother um, is also uh, at the Actors Fund nursing home. Right. You know, so the Actors Fund is all through my life. Um, and I just, I'm so thrilled to be a part of this. I'm so thrilled to be a part of this community. Me too. Um, you know, to see this show come back for the children. You know, some some of the folks weren't here for it. Honey. I know. It's a new thing for some people, but not for us old people, honey. Not for us. I know. So donate to the Actors Fund, will you? That's what this show's all about. We're trying to raise money to help people. So if you yes. can, actorsfund.org backslash Rosie. Thank you for that. Billy, I love you so much. We gotta go. We still we overbooked. I know, I know y'all. Y'all overbooked. Let me sing one phrase though. Go ahead, baby. One phrase. Oh. Nothing's gonna harm you, not while I'm around. 
Nothing's gonna harm you, no sir, not while I'm around. Demons will charm you for a while with a smile, but in Harm you not while we around. I love you, Billy. I God love bless you. you all. God bless you. Thank you, Billy. Billy Porter. Oh, makes me cry getting choked up now towards the end. Okay, who do we got now? We got Shoshana Bean, ladies and gentlemen, the talented Hi, Mama. Hi, baby, how are you? So good to see you. I hate that it's under these circumstances, but I miss your face. It's so good to see you. So good to see you. I love watching you on your Instagram and your Twitter. I, you look so great, Shoshana, you really do. Mama, that was so cool. I, I learned who Billy Porter was because of your show. So mm. to me, this is a very full circle moment. So thank you for making this possible. Well, thank you for being a part of this. The Actors Fund is a great organization and just trying to raise some money for them. And you're going to sing for us, are you not? Yes, ma'am. It would only be appropriate to follow up uh, his attire with uh, yours and my favorite. All right. Hit it. <sighs> Don't tell me not to live, just sit and putter. Life's candy and the sun's a ball of butter. Don't bring around a cloud to rain on my parade. Don't tell me not to fly, I simply got to. If someone takes a spill, it's me, it's not you. Who told you you're allowed to rain on my parade? I'll march my band out, I'll beat my drum. And if I'm found out, your turn at that, sir. At least I didn't fake it, oh, sir, I guess I didn't make it. But whether I'm the rose of sheer perfection, a freckle on the nose of life's complexion, the cinder or the shiny apple of its eye. I gotta fly once, I gotta try once, only can die once, right, sir? Once. Love is juicy, juicy, and you see, I gotta have my bite, sir. Get ready for me, love, cause I'm a combo. I simply gotta march, my heart's a drummer. Don't bring around a cloud to rain on my parade. I'm gonna live and live now. Get what I want, I know how. One row for the whole shebang. One throw that bell will go clang. Eye on the target and wham. One shot, one gunshot, and bam. Hey, look at me, world. Here I am. I'll march my band out. I'll beat my drum. And if I'm stand out, your turn at that, sir. At least I didn't fake it. That, sir, I guess I didn't make it. Get ready for me, love, cause I'm a comer. I simply gotta march my heart to drum and nobody, no, nobody is gonna rain on me. Oh my God, Shoshana Bean! Happy birthday, my love. Thank you. You are fantastic. Bless. That is not an easy song to sing after you know who sang it. <laughs> indeed, indeed. But you kicked butt, and a friend of yours is coming on right now, Mr. Gavin Creel. Gavin, what, what was that? What just no. happened? Unbelievable! I'm like. <laughs> Hi, my friend. Oh my gosh, that was fantastic. Hi, Rosie. Hi, Show. Hi, how are you? So happy. So I'm just alive. Thank you. Thanks to that. Aww. Me too. Really. Shoshana, love you. I'll talk to you. Thank you. Donate, donate. <laughs>
Donate, exactly right. Hey, Gab, how are you? Are you good? Where are you? I'm 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 lucky, fortunate enough to have a little cabin uh, upstate, about an hour north of the city. And um, I wanted to tell you, I don't know if this is appropriate or not, but I'm pretty sure I have the virus. Oh, um, okay. I haven't been officially tested, but I was doing waitress in London, and a bunch of our cast has has fallen sick from it. And one of my castmates did test <laughs> the same day that I uh, was starting to have um, symptoms. And she's she's positive, and we were together the whole time. So um, it wasn't Sarah, by the way. It was, uh, but, uh, and but, even if it was, that's okay too. Oh but. yeah, yeah. I just don't want to tell someone's business. No, um, yeah. But uh, I wanted just to say to anybody who's out there and is afraid, because obviously all of us are sort of. Um, you have to, wanted to talk about what I symptoms and stuff, and and it's not. It's like a cruddy flu. And for me, and I've been lucky enough not to have any um, breathing difficulties and respiratory issues and stuff, mm -hmm. but the fever, the headaches, I lost my sense of smell and taste. I haven't gotten those back. I'm eating asparagus and it might as well be rubber. I don't know, but uh, it's the weirdest thing. And and to to be sitting in it and, and to know um, it's the thing that is freaking us all out. I, I just wanted to say to anybody's out there, like I'm, I'm being very careful, I haven't, talk really come in contact with any human beings touched anyone and the only my doctor said even if you have it you have to stay away for 14 days uh from anybody so if you have it or you don't and <clears throat> you know so i'm just hanging tight and trying to to be uh, as safe as i can yes well good for you i'm sorry that you have that i'm sorry but okay. so many of us i think when the testing spots tests finally arrive which they haven't, even though we knew in January that this was coming. But when yeah. the tests actually arrive, um, the numbers are going to be really, really high. So yeah. get well, Gavin. Get well soon. Be uh, Let me know. Text me and tell me how you're feeling, okay? Because okay. I'm going to worry. Thank you. Can you sing? You have enough? Uh, I'll, uh, I'll just give you a little bit of something I just did in London. This is my Sarah's. This is my favorite song Sarah's written from Waitress. Uh, I love uh, that. Uh, I can find the whole meaning of life in those sad eyes. They've seen things that you never quite say, but I hear. Come out of hiding, I'm right here beside you. And I'll stay there as long as you let me. Because you matter. From somebody, you matter to me. I promise you do. You screw that up. I promise you do. You matter to Beautiful, Gavin. I hope you're feeling better, sweetie. Thanks very much. Take Good care on. of yourself. I love you. All right, donate. Donate to the Actors Fund. Okay, now we have a special guest. We have um, a woman who I just, I don't even know if I'm worthy, but um, Miranda Sings is, uh, hi. Hello. Miranda. I'm freaking working. Hi, Miranda. Oh, oh. Hi. Oh, Rosie, why aren't you wearing a freaking mix? Why? Oh, I didn't. I'm. I'm. You just talked to freaking Gavin Crail, who said he was infected. Oh, yeah. and you're gonna spread it. But he's in a different place than me. I'm. We can still talk to you. The government said if you are talking to someone or around someone who is infected, you can get it. You're gonna spread it to me. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me. Let me see if I should. I just cover my mouth like this. That would be better. Thank you. Also, okay. I don't really like the look of your mouth right now, so this is better on multiple occasions. Yeah, because I don't have any lipstick on either. No, you don't. It's no. embarrassing, quite honestly. So this is terrifying that now you're infected, probably. Well, so now I'm probably infected. And honestly, I left my quarantine quarters to be here today. Really? Because I thought I was getting a koosh ball. 
Um, well, we have these. They're sort of like push balls. I can throw them. Don't throw them at you. Me. Do not um, throw Rosie's that was, that was the fun of the push ball. You know what? what? Now I think about it, I yeah. see pictures of the coronavirus and it kind of looks like a koosh ball. Oh, you're right. But you are known to throw the koosh balls into the audience. Oh, that's I wasn't thinking all those years ago. Yes. So yeah. anyways, I left my quarters. I've been living in the bathroom because I feel like it's the safest, cleanliest place. Is it? So yes. Yeah. See, this is where I've been living. I took a picture so you could see oh, um, where wow. I've been living. Wow. For weeks now, because I don't want to catch this thing. So if I swear to God, if I catch this from Gavin Creel, yeah, I'm so freaking taked. Yeah, that would be so, bad. But I think you're safe. I do think you're safe. I hope so. I better be because I need to perform for the world. You know, I've yeah. got tours that are probably going to happen eventually. Okay. Um, so I got to perform for my Mirfandas and sing and all those types of things. But um, you're welcome that I decided to come here today. Well, that's what I was saying, that you have such a huge fan base. I didn't know if you were going to be able to to come to our little show. Yes, I know. It's You're very lucky to have me, quite honestly. I, I do feel it, Miranda. I bet you do feel it. Yeah. Um, you feel the tickle in the throat right now, Rosie? No, I'm feeling healthy. I'm still okay, feeling good. Oh, goodness. I'm feeling good. Goodness. Yes, but what are you doing to stay healthy for this coronavirus right now? I mean, I've been doing lots of fun things um, to stay healthy and to have fun, but I did notice you're not wearing gloves or a mask, so I'm a little nervous. No, I, but you know, I feel in my house I'm safe because I, you know, there's not a lot of people here, just my family, my kids, you know. Okay, kids. I don't really like those. You don't? Not really. Oh, I have five. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'll be praying yeah. for you. <laughs> Thank you. That's you're welcome. Cool. Have you been watching any TV or the video? I've been watching, yes, um, lots. I've been watching myself on YouTube. I have lots of videos. So I've been mm -hmm. watching myself. And, and I've been practicing, performing, you know, defying gravity. I've um, been seeing all my different songs from my show. Yeah. And I'm um, trying to prepare myself for when I get back on tour again. I've been doing crafts, lots of crafts. What kind? What kind? Um, well, I like doing crafts with cat hair. So oh. I've been doing lots of those. This one is a doll, as you can see. Yes, yes. So this is Karen. Beautiful. Hi, Karen. Nice to hello. see you, Karen. She says hello. So anyways, um, yeah, so I've been doing lots of crafts like that. So. Well, we're trying to raise money for the Actors Fund. Are you familiar with that? Yes, I heard about this. I think it's very good. I am an actor, and I like money. So I think people should be donating. Um, I also like other actors who are trying to be better at acting so they can try to compete with me. I think it's funny. Yeah. Um, so I really want to support the other actors so that I can beat them later. Yeah, which you will because you have the most talent. I am aware. You don't have to tell me this. You're being kind of sassy, to be honest. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say the wrong thing. It's um, okay. You've been doing this a long time, it seems. So you're probably exhausted. Yeah. So, you know, I'm old now. I'm 58. I was going to say. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah, there's that. Um, yeah. so have you been, have you been like cooking or have you been like, yes, I've been cooking a lot. I've actually been really ticked off cause I haven't had Taco Bell in weeks and mm -hmm. I didn't know how I would survive without that. Yeah. But there's lots of cheese balls in my house and lots of meat. We love meat here. So right. I've been eating all the kinds of meat, turkey meat, deli meat, chicken meat, chicken tenders, um, bologna, um, which has a G in it. I don't know if you knew that the word bologna. O L O G N A. Yeah. I found that out yesterday. <laughs> Mind blown. Right. A and bologna. Why did they do that? Why did they do that? There's no reason. Do you know why? Because I've been trying to figure that out. Maybe ask Siri. Siri? Yeah, hello. Is that Siri. the girl who sings, I want to fly from a chandelier? No, that's Sia. Oh. Yeah. I don't know her. Yeah, she's good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Depends on who you're asking. <laughs> now, listen, I think you need to talk to your fan base and yes. let them know some yes. helpful tips. Listen, I know, I know. Well, you are interrupting me. As I was, I was, did you see that? I was breathing to tell it. And then you're like, you should talk. And I was like, oh, because oh, I was about to say it. So mm -hmm. if you are my fan out there, listen to me. This coronavirus is serious business. I'm not kidding about it. You need to stay home and you need to donate to people who freaking need it like the actors, all right? There's a lot of actors out there trying to compete with me, trying to be as good as me because I have inspired them. So we need to keep inspiring them by giving them your money. So please donate donate all of your money today. Thank you, thank and you. And if you have any left, you can give it to me. Of course, yeah. 
Well, it's been an honor to talk to you. I know. I know you probably have other things to do now. I do. I have lots to do. There is a scab forming that I am just dying to pick at. So got to go. Okay. Love you. Take care of yourself. Oh, love you too. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Miranda Sings. Very funny woman. Colleen is her real name and she does that character. And if you have a teenager, they know it and they love it. Okay. Now, next. Who do we got next? Let's Lauren Chatton. Hi, how are you? Hi. Hey, Rosie, I'm well. How are you? I saw you and you were blew me away. You just blew me away. The whole show is Jagged Little Pill is fantastic, and you are simply brilliant in it. Thank you. That means so much coming from you. I really well, you are so welcome. I tried to write you on Twitter and, and everything and all the cast members. I'm like, I, I loved it. I loved it. I, We're so grateful for your support. We oh, love, love well, the show. It's a beautiful show. You're going to sing a song from it right now? Yes. Yes. I thought I've been going to see the show a lot and I know our fans are, so I thought I'd sing. It's a song I don't get to sing in the show, though. I'm going to play ironic for you. Okay. Excellent. Lauren Patton, ladies and gentlemen. An old man turned 98 He won the lottery and died the next day It's a black fly in your shirt and name It's a death row pilot Two minutes too late. Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? It's like rain on your wedding day. It's a free ride when you've already It's a good advice. because the Actors Fund is, is truly an incredible organization and it's helped so many people over over a hundred years and now knowing that their life-giving services are going to help people who are sick right now or who are immunocompromised or who are seniors who need that support now more than ever is just 
what right. you're doing is amazing. Thank you. Click for on the much. link, everybody. Click on the link and donate what you can. Yes. Thank you, Lauren. I made my donation today. It'll go back, I'm sure it'll go back on Broadway. Okay, we got a video package now, don't we? Package number four. Here we go. Take a look at this. Hey, Rosie, it's Skylar Aston coming to you live from my home. Um, hello to everybody in the Broadway community and all Broadway fans. I just want to take a quick moment to encourage you to donate to the Actors Fund. As you know, it does not just take care of actors, but it takes care of everybody in the theater from the ushers to the ticket takers and so on. So please, please donate. It is such an important cause in this scary, scary time. Everybody be well, be safe and keep singing. Hi, I'm Beth Bears, and I'm wearing a hat because I haven't washed my hair in a week. And I'm Michael Gladys, and this is Betty. And we just wanted to say we love our friends so much in the theater community. They're more like family. Everyone in that community is like family. And we urge anyone who can give anything to the Actors Fund to support these artists in this time to please do so. Thank we, you. Thank you. We love you, we love Rosie. Rosie. Hi, this is Ben Vereen. Um, you know, whatever we're going through right now, we always need the arts to take us through all, all situations. So please, support the Actors Fund, because we're here for you. We're going to get through this. <laughs> it's a song and a dance. <laughs> Rosie, hi, it's Sutton Foster. I just wanted to say you are amazing and I love you so much. Thank you for doing this special. I wish that we could all be together. And thank you for supporting the Actors Fund, everybody. Now is the time where art is needed more than ever. And when we get through this, may we sing louder and may we share our gifts more and more and may we all come together. Love you. Hi, this is Frankie Valley, sending all my love to the Broadway community. Broadway plus all its touring companies have been affected by this terrible virus. So please, if you can, donate to the Actors Fund. Frankie Valley, thank you for that. And he's made a donation, a, a big donation as well. So thank you, Frankie Valley. Theactorsfund.org, Rosie, that's where you can uh, make a donation. Click on the button that's right in front of you. Already, hey, we got Matthew Morrison originally from Hairspray, and then hi. hi, Matthew, how are you? I'm not unwell. How are you? I'm not unwell either. I'm doing good. You know, usually performing like on a big uh show like yours, I get like you know, a groomer will come over and stuff, but uh, my I have a two year old, so I he he did my makeup today. It looks nice for a two year old, he's got a future, he's got you know, he's got a knack for it, yeah. You're going to sing for us, Mr. Talented Broadway Man? I am. Um, yeah, I want to do this song. I have this Disney record that just came out and it canceled a bunch of shows, but I, I, I'm so happy to sing this music. And, you know, I, I know you're a big fan of the Disney family. And uh, yes, I am. here we go. This is something we all need. My friend Dan is going to help me out. Hi, Dan. Hi, Rosie. <laughs> one, two, one, two, three, four. For the bare necessities, the simple. Necessities, get about your worries and your strife. I mean, those bare necessities of Mother Nature's recipes that bring the bare necessities alive. Wherever I wander, wherever I go, I couldn't be far my big old. The bees are buzzing in the trees and make some honey just for me. When you look under the rocks and place and take a glance at them fancy ants, and then maybe we'll drive you the bare necessities of life will come to you. Will come to you. Take it away. Go to the rocks and place and take advantage of them. 
the answer, then maybe we'll drive you. The very necessities of life will come to you. We'll come to you. We'll come to you. Yeah! Loved it. That's so fun. Thank you so much, Rosie. Thank you so much for being here, Matthew. Great Thank to see you. Much. Thank you so much for everything you do. Have Thank a great you. Bye-bye. We're going to remind everybody once again to donate, if you can, to the Actors Fund right now. And coming up next, the star of Dear Evan Hansen right now, even though we're, we're not open anymore, uh, Jordan Fisher. Hi, Rosie. How are you, Jordan? I'm well, love. How are you? Happy birthday. Happy belated Thank birthday. Thank you very much. 58. Thank you. That's incredible. It yeah. has been an absolute dream of mine to be a guest on your show. And obviously, the circumstances are very odd and very strange, but... Um, yeah, just 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 to be a part of this group that you're bringing on tonight means the world to me. So thank you so much. Well, you're such a talented performer, such a beautiful voice, and uh, I can't wait till we get back up and I can see you and dear Evan Hansen. You know, I was just talking about the energy of 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 the Broadway theaters when the lights turn back on. I, I it gives me goosebumps right now just thinking about what that first night back yeah. is going to feel like across those 12 blocks. It's just going to be incredible. So looking forward to it. In the meantime, I'm doing uh, doing the same thing as everybody else, you know, quarantining. This is a very dear friend of mine and neighbor, Michael Orland, who's going to play the piano for me here today. All um, right. What are you going to sing for us? I'm going to sing For Forever from Dear Evan Hansen. Excellent. Beautiful. Yeah. Take Thanks. it away, Jordan. All right. Perfect afternoon we shared. Drive the winding country road, grab a scoop at Alamo, and then we're there. To an open field that's framed with trees, we pick a spot and shoot the breeze like buddies do, quoting songs by our favorite band. Telling jokes no one understands except us two <laughs> And we talk and take in the view All we see in the sky for forever We let the world pass by for forever Feels like we could go on for forever this way Two friends <laughs> on a perfect day. We walk a while and talk about the things we'll do when we get out of school. Yeah, to bike the Appalachian Trail, or write a book, or learn to sail, wouldn't that be cool? There's nothing that we can't discuss, like girls we wish would notice us, but never do. And he looks around and says to me, there's nowhere else I'd rather be, and I say, me too. And we talk and take in the view. We just talk and take in the view. All we see is sky for forever. We let the world pass by for forever. Feels like we could go on for forever this way, this way. All we see is light for forever cause the sun shines bright for forever like we'll be all right for forever this way two friends on a perfect day and they goes racing toward the tallest tree from far across a yellow field, I hear him calling, follow me. There we go, wondering how the world might look from up so high. One foot after the other, one branch then to another. I climb higher and higher, I climb till the entire sun 
ground my arm goes numb <laughs> I look around and I see him come to get me he's come to get me and everything's okay all we see is sky for forever we let the world Pass by for forever, buddy. You and I for forever this way, this way. All we see is hope, cause the sun burns bright. We could be alright for forever this way. Two friends, true friends, on a perfect day. Jordan, what a beautiful voice you have. Such a beautiful voice, honey. Oh, thank you so much, love. Really, thank you. Get so back much. up, please come and see it. I will totally come back again. I would love awesome. to. Thank, thank you, you so much for being here, Jordan. Thank you for having me. Donate, 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 give.actress1.org forward slash Rosie. Thank you so much for having me, love. I really appreciate it. Much thank love to you. you all. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Can't wait to give you a big hug. Thank all you. All right. Thanks. Now we have another video package to roll for you. Some of the people we couldn't fit in, even this show is now longer than the Oscars. It is now 10, 11. We're going on three and a half hours. Woo uh, take a look at the video package. Hi, community. It's Marissa Tomei, and I'm encouraging everyone, if they are able, to donate to the Actors Fund. The Actors Fund is here in times of emergency uh, for financial aid and for health services, especially those in the next two months who cannot pay their basic living expenses. So. We don't want to be playing Camille right now. We don't want that starring role. Stay healthy and donate what you can. I'm Lorna Luft, and I am a proud ambassador to the Actors Fund of America. The Actors Fund of America has come to the rescue of anyone in the entertainment field for over a hundred years. And now we are in crisis. Please give whatever you can, whether it be large or small, and thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And one day, our curtain will rise again and we will entertain you. Thank you, Rosie. Thank you, Eric. God bless. Hey, what's up, everybody? Miguel Cervantes here, and I am... What's your name, ma'am? Alexander Hamilton. I play Alexander Hamilton in the Broadway company of Hamilton in New York City. I'm here in Chicago with my family right now, and I am not the one to wait my shot to wish you all health and strength during these times. Hopefully, we'll be back at the Richard Rogers in New York City very, very soon with the rest of the Ham fam. Take care, everybody. Ain't no time for talking. You tell Michonne the walkers are coming. Andy! This isn't an audition for The Walking Dead. This is the one night only return of the Rosie O'Donnell show for the Actors Fund. Oh, sorry. Hi, I'm Andy Carl. Hi, I'm Orfe. And besides putting ourselves on tape in order to get some work this summer, we're actually actors. We are, and we fully support the Actors Fund, which is more important now than ever before. Yes, there's so many people in need, so please give what you can. Thank you. Have fun! Woo! Oh, hi guys. What's up? Elizabeth Stanley here. Sorry, I have a few extra plants in my apartment because I had to take them out of my dressing room for the time being. Speaking of, sending so much love to all of my Broadway family and friends, all the people on stage and backstage and the amazing fans. We're gonna get through this together. And thank you, Rosie, for the love you have always shown to the Broadway community. You are the very best. Here's to raising some extra green for the Actors Fund.
I'm Sirius XM Broadway host, Seth Rudetsky, and this is my husband, producer James Wesley. Last Monday, we started the Benefit Livestream Stars in the House every day at 2 and 8 p.m. Eastern. You'll see amazing performances like Kay Alice Settle from The Greatest Showman, Audrey McDonald, and every Saturday night, Kristen Chenoweth. And Dr. John LaCook, the chief medical correspondent from CBS News, answering your questions. Coming up on Stars in the House, Tina Fey, Matt Bomer, Sean Hayes, Lynn Momo Miranda, Randy Rainbow, and more. Watch, feel good, and if you can, donate to the Actors Fund. Stars, Stars in the, the House. <laughs> James and Seth, very fun. Okay, now, all the way from a very, very far away, Leia Salonga is here with us and she is getting up. Hi there, honey. How are you? Good morning. Good evening, everybody. What Hi, everyone. Where are you? Where are you? I'm in Manila, so it should be about 10 something in the morning, 10 14 in the morning. Oh, well, you see that? We got 12 hours on you here. Are you got yep, you guys, hours? you're 12 hours behind me. There I've got go. 12 hours on you all. Well, it's so lovely to see you, Leah. I love your voice. Oh, I love everything thank you. that you do. Miss Saigon was epic, and you were only a teenager when you did that, weren't you? I was, um, and I saw Billy Porter talking about it, too. Um, that I remember being in the Broadway company of, of Miss Saigon, and, and the AIDS crisis kind of, it was kind of in its infancy. So he was saying how people of our age would, would still remember um, just how crazy those times were and how so many people in the Broadway community were at the forefront of that battle and now we're in the midst of another one and if if the resilience of the Broadway community from back then carries on till now then you know what I, I we're gonna be yes, absolutely we're gonna be beating this thing but everybody needs to practice social distancing and washing their hands and staying healthy and I'm sorry to hear that Gavin Creel is sick now. So, oh boy. So let's let's hope for the best that he gets better soon. And to everybody else that has fallen ill, please get well soon. We will be praying for all of you. Exactly. And if you can, please donate to us. Absolutely to donate. Fund. Please donate to the Actors Fund. It's helped so many people in so many ways uh, for over 100 years. And um, it's not just actors that benefit. And it's it's people from the entertainment industry that are able to be beneficiaries of this fantastic organization so please please don't forget to donate even a dollar ten dollars yeah. yeah. once it all adds up it, it'll all make a big difference yes and in just a few minutes we're going to tell everybody how much we've raised tonight with with gratitude so for everyone yes you're going to cool. sing something now from mulan yes yeah um in celebration of the new live action film that was supposed to come out a few days ago but because of uh the coronavirus i think um the release has been pushed back um obviously. Um, so I thought I would sing something from Mulan to celebrate today. And um, this is one of my too. favorite songs. <laughs> it really is. It, it's hard to sing this at, in, in the morning, but I, I, I think I'll, for you, Rosie, I will. Absolutely. Thank you. Leia Salonga, take it away. Look at me, I will never pass for a perfect bride or a perfect daughter. Can it be I'm not meant to play this part? Now I see that if I were truly to be myself, I would break my family's heart. Who is that girl I see staring straight back at me? Why is my reflection someone I don't know? Somehow I cannot hide who I am, though I've tried. When will my reflection show who I am inside? How I pray that a time will come I can free myself and meet their expectations on that day 
I'll discover some way to be myself and to make my family proud. They want a docile lamb. No one knows who I am. Must there be a secret me? I'm forced to hide. Must I pretend that I'm someone else for all time? When will my reflection show who I am inside? When will my reflection show who I am inside? Honey, you are so talented. Thank you. I, I just love to see you perform anytime, any place. Since you were a thank teacher you. now, thank you so yeah. much for, for getting thank up you. early and singing in the movie. <laughs> Absolutely, and to everybody, to, to the entire Broadway community, I send you love from the Philippines. Um, hopefully, those those smart keys and those lights will be up really, really soon. But in the meantime, everybody stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you so much, honey. I hope to see you. I love you. Love you too. Bye bye. Okay, we got two more guests and that's it. And we'll be pulling this in right at 1030, three and a half hours. Woo I said when I looked at the guest list, you know, this is going to be very long. And um, it was, but I hope you enjoyed it. And we got Randy Rainbow coming up right now, my buddy. Hi, Randy. Hi, Ro. I love you. I love you too. Are you in your bathrobe? I put on my good bathrobe for you. I wanted to get dressed up a little. Thank you. And I did a little, I have a reveal. Do you want to see the gayest webcam show ever? It's the oh, spring line. What? He put that Billy Porter hat on. He did? Damn it. The exact t-shirt. Crappy time slot. Everyone stole my material. Honey, you're the finale. You and the oh, yeah? Barry Mello coming up next. Bar I've heard of him. He's very good. Very good. Yeah, I was so excited to wear this like out, and now I'm just wearing it for my cat in various rooms around my house. So, well, I'm glad yeah. you wore it for me. You know I love her like no one else. Please, are you kidding me? How are you doing? I'm doing really well. The kids are holding up, and you know I'm getting through like everyone else. I have moments where I get very sad. I see yeah. a picture, and I get like, whoa, and you know the tears come. But um, Trying to hold on like everyone else, trying to channel my anger to where it belongs and to look on the good side of everything else. I'm with you, honey. Well, yeah. I, I know that you have, you know, you, you're, you're, it's a long show, so I don't want to keep you, but I just wanted to check in. I want you to know that I'm safe. I have all of my essentials because you have to be prepared. I have my Barbara. Good, good. We I need have my, I have the, my, all my Barbara stuff. Do you oh. have? Look at that. Oh, do you have this book? Yes, I do. Is that the best book? I just got it. Yeah. I love it. Oh yeah. And then, of course, the most important thing that I just had to bring out, it's the Rosie O'Donnell Show. Bye. In a box. In a box. Look at me with my red suit. That's so great. Yeah. And prized possession. Can I tell you, I live for your parodies. I live for them, Randy. Thank you, honey. And you're so good at them. They get millions of hits. They're so poignant and political and right on target. Thank you. Well, I released a new one today just in honor of you, so I hope everyone will check it out. What's it called? It's, uh, it's to the tune of Go the Distance from Hercules. Oh, I can not social, social distance. Go I know you had Alan Mankin on before. I hope he wasn't looking for me. No. But um, I, I hope everyone, it's, it's the social distance quarantine anthem that we all need. Well, excellent. Well, I'm glad that you're here with us and I'm glad that you're feeling good. Always, I love you. Everyone donate to the Actors Fund. Ro, thank you for, for doing this. Thank you for everything. I love you, I love you. Thank you, I'll talk to you soon, baby. All right, all right, bye. Because, uh, hi, Eric. Oh, you were your sound was bad for a second, but never mind. bye. Oh, it's good now? Okay, good.
Um, I'm doing the same thing I've been doing for three and a half hours, so it's still working. All right, and now my friend, living legend, the guy that I just, I just love him, Barry Manilow, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Hi Barry. Hi. Everything is wrong. Uh -huh. Since I met my Rosie. You know what show that came from? What? Which one? This song called Rosie. No, I heard the song, but I don't know the show. Which show? Bye Bye Birdie. So hi, everybody. Hi, how are you? Good, good. It's a long show, but it's worth it. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad that you're here to end it for us. Yeah, no, you are You are too much doing this. Just, wow. Just, just, just you know, we help when we can, and you always do, too. I know that for a fact. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm, I'm happy to do it. So what should, what should I do? How, how do we end the show? Like this? Let's pick it up, right? I'm singing to the world. It's time when the spirit comes in. Let it come on in. I'm singing to the world. Everybody's caught in a sin. Look at where you're around. 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 You're that's a nice one to, to, to start the ending, right? Yeah, that's a good one. You right. know what I've been listening to when I feel like I need to cry? I put on like a glorious song or a you song, and I was listening to Even Now oh, in my right. bathtub yesterday, and that one was like, Killing me in the best way. Yeah, well, you don't want to. Let's not do that. Let's do where. Uh, 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 you know I can't smile without you. Can't smile without you. Can't laugh and I can't sing. Finding it hard to do anything. You see, I feel sad when you're sad. Feel glad. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. How about makes you want to jump, shout, knock yourself out? How about this one? Her name is Laura. She was a showgirl with yellow feathers in her head. You and I did a duet on this back in Yeah, that Radio City. They were fucking tough. They were young and they had each other. Who could have had a shake? So good, Barry. Yeah. All the hits. Keep them coming. Thanks. Well, thanks, yeah. thanks for inviting me on your show. You're doing great, great stuff. I hope you do it again. I hope we will, too. We're going to have different organizations that we can do it for every time, you know? All of the first-line workers, the nurses and the orderlies at the hospital. I mean, we got to do something for them, too. It's so overwhelming. It really is. It is. I mean, it's got to end. It's got to end. Yeah. And we got a good happy song to end with. What are we gonna do? The song that uh, when uh, when this ends, and I know it will, this is the song that I'll be happy to sing. We dreamers have our ways of facing rainy days, and somehow we survive. We keep the feelings warm, protect them from the storm. Until our time arrives, and one day the sun appears, we come shining through those lonely years. I made it through the rain and kept my world.
protected. I made it through the rain. I kept my point of view. I made it through the rain. Found myself respected by the others who got laid on to. are hard to find and life seems so unkind sometimes you feel afraid just stay beyond the clouds rise above the clouds and start your own parade when I chase my fears away that's when I knew that I could finally say I made it through the rain I kept my world protected I made it through the rain I kept my point of view I made it through the rain I found myself respected by the others who got rained on to and made it through looks like we made it Barry thank you so much I love you give my love to your family and stay safe honey you too Barry Manilow ladies and gentlemen well we have done it there we go it's time for a toast. Eric, come back on. At least try saying glass. See that? <laughs> uh, I, honey, I lost 30 pounds doing this show, and I'm just sitting here. I can't imagine how you feel. I feel great. I think it was such a lovely night, and everybody got, you know, to get on and do their thing, and beautiful. And the big, big news is that we raised half a million dollars. You raised over half a million dollars. Over half a million dollars for and, the audience. And can I just say a few thank yous before you go? Yes. Just, and then I'll let you have the last word. Thank you, of course, everyone who watched, but just want a big thank you to, to Craig Burns, who uh, uh, cast this whole thing and reached out to all this incredible talent whose birthday yeah. it is, and the staff at, at Broadway.com and, and Revelations, and of course, all our performers, and, and Rosie, on behalf of uh, so many of the performers tonight, you and your show were the reason why we ended up in this crazy business. Oh. Truly, from the bottom of our hearts, Thank you for everything, and it's uh, it's your final word now. All right, thank you, Eric. So everybody, that's it. We did it, we made it through. Um, I'm so happy that we got to do it, and that uh, I pray that everybody's gonna be okay, and we are gonna get through this, and I love you all, thank you. And Barbara Streisand, you are my glass of champagne. Thank you, everyone. I love you, and good night. <laughs> Movies, sure she can do it. Broadway gave it a try. Hey, biggest, ain't nothing to it.